Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Saturday Night Fights. It is time for Sean Connery to show up in his sarong and to greet everybody and to hope you're all having a wonderful... It's We are a week... To, it's one week from Christmas, Velker. It is. One week before the fat man slides down the chimney and gives all the Gentile boys and girls presents. This is... This is... This is awesome. The, uh... No, no, no. It's the Christmas season, and I take nothing away from it. God bless... God bless us, everyone. Actually, you're the expert on that, having actually been Tiny Tim on stage. Mm. But, uh... We have the Velker with us tonight, but it is it is time for uh, Saturday Night Fights. Well, wait, though. Wait, wait, wait. He's already on the call, so I can't believe he hasn't already shouted it out. Gonna tweet. Uh, this counts as beating Dalinor. This counts, this counts as beating Dalinor. Tweet is out and up. We're all set to go. Um, so, it is time to return with Sean Connery and Saturday Night Fights and the Iron Shirt Dragoons to Project Catcher Broad 10 Ways to Four Arms. That's right. We are trying to make our way through a series of miniature and other rule sets that depict the Battle of Catcher Broad, June of 1815. And enjoy the battle. Remember the battle. Uh, simulate the battle, but also try out some rule sets and see which ones we like, which ones we don't like, which scenarios are best, which had a good scenario and things like that. Tonight is one that was, actually, I can't believe how long ago it was suggested. I couldn't believe the date that I built this. Just haven't gotten here because so much else jumped in the way. This is Palamos. Uh, Palamos is the house rule set for Bacchus 6mm, the wildly popular 6mm site, and deservedly so. If you are a 6mm gamer, their stuff is pretty much... I think it's still industry standard. I'm not, I have not been a six millimeter gamer for a very, very long time. So I certainly do not know. Um, but it is, uh, oh, there's the chat. I was worried about it. Uh, I thought it had gone away on me. And so we'll, we'll, you know, so they're, they're the industry standard of that. And so these are their house rules. Let's talk about the sides. Unfortunately, some of our usuals can't be with us. I did not see the command tent. I don't know what he's up to. Um, I know that OJ is out doing Christmassy stuff. Jeff is doing Christmassy stuff. And uh, who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting all sorts of folks. Oh, and uh, our friend, David Pumphouse. Hey, David, we're wishing you well, man. Uh, he has been laid low with the Omicron. He, uh, he, has, he has special transformer powers. So the, uh, whatever whatever is going on with you, David, we hope you're well. So who do we have around the table? Well, I'm going to surprise exactly nobody watching the channel and say commanding the armies of the French under Marshal Ney is the man himself, Ron Delinar. Good evening. Vive la France. Oh, vive la France. Oh, that hurt. Uh, take it easy, man. Take, take, take it easy. For those who don't know, our guy has also been laid low with the COVID. This is crazy. We're supposed to be remote gamers, not giving each other the Rona, and yet we have it anyway. I'm still glad you're with us and kicking around. Joining him on the French side, as we said, is Velker. How are you doing tonight? Vive la France. There you go. Hey, pot-bellied Slim. Good to see you, brother. Uh, and now we're going to swing over here to the other side and say, commanding the armies of the Allies. In an exciting new role for him, we have Red Sax. Good evening. God bless King George. God bless King George. <laughs> And joining him to confound the wills of the the will of the emperor is our guy Achilles. Good evening. Hey. Good to see you. All right. So let's talk a little bit about Palamus. Well, as we said, it's intended for six millimeter, but that's okay. I just stuffed the base was with fifteen millimeter guys because that's what I got. I got a lot of them. Each one of these bases is a, is a battalion. The battalions are formed into brigades, and you will see them over the tooltips. So, for example, and I have this set up this way for the French. We're going to talk a little bit about deployment in a second. But Jaman's brigade here, these six bases, that's, a, that, that's one brigade of six battalions. They also belong to the division, whereas the divisional commander, he's right there, and it's Lieutenant General Foy. So he is the commander of the 9th Division of the 2nd Corps. The French also have two corps commanders. We see the first one here, Lieutenant General Count Rael, who commands two corps. And we have over here, Lieutenant General Kellerman, who commands that 3rd Cavalry Corps that we're also familiar with now after being at Quatre Bras. The uh, game also includes rules for guns, which start out when they are not limbered. Or, sorry, when they are limbered, geez. When they are limbered, they start out without limbers, which is an interesting little piece. But the guns only bring out their limbers, and we have nice little piles of limbers built over here 
when they deploy, when they unlimber. So if a gun is like this, it is limbered and ready to move. Um, the the game Palamos is borrows from a lot of different places. Some of them quite interesting. Um, hey, Tommy McGuire, good to see you, man. The game borrows from a number of different places. It borrows a bunch from DBA. Uh, it borrows a bunch from some of the other uh, morale clock systems. But let's talk about what it is rather than what it compares to. Each and every turn, the most important thing we're going to do, I suppose, is we're going to have the two commanders roll a single d6 and add the number of inferior commanders that they have with them. So in the case of the allies, at least initially, well, we'll have to roll to see exactly how many the allies have because it's variable with the capture bra scenario. But we can certainly know for the French that it is a total. And you'll know who these commanders are. The core commanders don't work the same way. The divisional commanders, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you're going to roll a 1d6 and add a six. Well, that's going to give you a number between seven and 12. You're then going to bid on this magic marker, which is hidden from the two sides right there. You've got one, the, the allies have one. You're going to bid a certain number of momentum points. Those tempo or moment tempo points is what they call them. That's your bid to see if you're going to be the leading player in that turn. The trick is you have fewer tempo points then to give to your inferior commanders for the rest of the turn. If there's a tie, the player who had it last keeps it. All right. So you're going to bid that. When that happens, we begin going through the sequence of play. The sequence of play is well enumerated right here, and so we'll go through it. As we said, there is tempo bidding, which we will do. Then there is bombardment by the tempo player. I chose, and Ron complained about this back in the day, and so I'm gonna, I respected him. This game is built like a lot of other European games are. PBE, good morning to you. David, good to see you. As we said before, wish you well. And has, the eyes, has it. Um, good to see you, gents. Indeed, congrats, congrats on your engagement, David. That's truly a wonderful thing. Um, in, in any event, Dalinor, this game is built around the metric system. All right? I don't like the metric system on my tabletop, and it's kind of stupid in this instance, but I still stuck with the, with the imperial measurements. I'm sorry, but I did it. And actually, Ron fussed about it, and I agreed with him. The bases are two and a half inches wide by, an, by about an inch and a quarter, but I'm calling it an inch deep. So it's two and a half by one. Two and a half base widths. So base widths, just like in Blucher, are the standard measurement of the game. Okay. And so you're going to measure that way. You can figure that out as a result. You can look over here under the bombardment to figure out how far guns can shoot. Even 12-pounder guns can only shoot 20 inches. So you're a good distance as you deploy here from artillery range. Even more uh, if you're into lighter guns. Each gun is rated for its weight, and you can see that there. The gun, for example, that you just highlighted, down, or as you can see, is only a six-pound horse gun. So it's got a much shorter range. And you're, so you're, you're a good deal from being able to pound on each other. But you do bombardment. And, bombardment, and this, this uh, cannonry, which we'll go over once it starts, is a bowling alley. No arc of fire. It is straight ahead only. Artillery pieces can move, but then they cannot shoot. When an artillery unit deploys, it cannot deploy. It cannot shoot on the turn that it deploys. And when it deploys, it sticks a limber behind it. So we know that it, that is a deployed gun. So once we've completed that, the tempo player moves his commander in chief, generals, and allocates tempo points. The movement first is really important because being too far away from your generals can be a real problem in this game. So you move them first. How far do they move? Well, we have that right here. They move three base widths, which again, doing the math, because that's right, we didn't do it in the metric system. 2.5 times three, 7.5 inches. Um, so once you have that, you move them, then you allocate tempo points. This is the guts of the game. Remember you spent those points to try to become the tempo player? Your remaining points are passed down from your commander-in-chief, the Duke of Wellington, and Marshal Ney, to your inferior commanders. In the case of the French, 
they have to be passed between the two core commanders. You have to split them between Kellerman and Rael. They then turn them over to their divisional commanders. The British get to do it directly. They have no core commanders. When it gets passed down to the commanders, in this case, let us imagine Kellerman's division, or corps. It gets passed down to Lertier and to Durbal, however he chooses. So let us imagine that, Ray, that Ney has given Rael four points, but he has given Kellerman two. He then gives one point to Lertier and one point to Durbal. You'll notice that they are both represented as capable. A capable general takes one tempo point and converts it into four. So he has four <laughs> points in things to do. Well, what are those things? It's actually a very simple chart. I give this game a lot of credit for this. Where are they? They're right here. There's only three things. Move a base or a group of bases. You'll notice the non-tempo player. Ooh, he pays double. Attack with a base or group. Pays one more. Or rally off a shaken level. I am hard-pressed to believe you're ever going to have enough points to do a lot of rallying, but I'll, I guess I'll see. So let's talk about moving a group. What's a group? A group is up to three units that are in any kind of contact, and they got goofy pictures. These are battalions, after all. So let's imagine Dunup's Brigade here. This is contact. This ain't DBA, folks. That is a group. That is a group. That is a group. As long as you're touching, it's a group. So they can be up to three. Infantry can combine into a group with foot artillery. Horse artillery may combine with horse. They move at the slowest pace, however. And you're going to discover that guns are a little slower than if you leave them alone. But they can be in a group. They can be. How far do they move? We have an answer. If an infantry formation is one base wide, i.e. a column, it gets to move five inches. But if it's more than one base, a line, it only moves two and a half inches. And so on here. There is no obliquing. All turning is by wheeling the front I, the front unit. It's all straightforward. If I, oh, I can't believe I crashed this early. This is so disappointing. So terribly disappointing. Stay with me, everyone. I'll be right back. The fiber, haha. I'm getting that fiber, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm going to get it. <laughs> Hoping this isn't some broader failure. The other positive thing is we haven't moved anybody, so. That's true. We don't have to remember where we were. <laughs> I just take it all the way back to the beginning. Server's back. With all my apologies. I don't even have to delete dice, which I usually do. There we are. So as I was saying, all movement is straight ahead. You may deploy into line. This is a group movement. It costs two points. You can do it to an entire force. You can do it to an entire brigade if you want. The trick is everybody in the line, and it costs you two tempo points, by the way, two, two, two. The trick is nobody can move more than two bases. So as a practical matter, if you do the geometry... It allows you to take one of these columns, stick a unit to the left, stick a unit to the right, and that's and then snug everybody up behind. That's what it allows you time for. Tur uh, turning, change of face, as I said, is done by wheeling. You can wheel one forward, which Velker, I think we figured out was how many clicks? Three? Yeah, it's three clicks if you spend all of it. If a unit is stationary, you may interpenetrate it. But remember, that unit can't move. 
you can interpenetrate a stationary unit. If two units both move, you can't interpenetrate one another. Attack movement is somewhat different. It must be straight ahead, no wheeling, no turning, no nothing, for the last two base widths. So pretty much your whole move. And you're going to come right in and punch the person right in the face, then we'll talk about fighting. I think that covers all of movement. Based on my experience with the game, everybody's going... Oh, and yes, of course, there are impediments to movement. Um, streams cost you one base width of movement, so it cuts infantry in half. Towns do the same. Roads give you one extra base depth of movement. Okay, okay. Firing. Long range is one base width. Two and a half inches. Short range is one base depth. One inch. And point blank, well, that's when you're, that's a longer melee process. Modifiers. It's a, it's an opposed role. There are three levels of shaken. I suppose four if you count if you count not having shaken at all. There's zero, which means you're not shaken. One, which means you're a little shaken, but have no significant bad effects. Two means you have to stay put, you can't advance. And three means the unit breaks and comes off the table. Again, it's an opposed role. It is not simultaneous. It's the tempo player gets an advantage in shooting first. And you can see all these modifiers. Talk about support. If you have a supporting artillery unit, even if it's not in the bowling alley, but it's sitting right where it should be, and it's shooting straight ahead, like you got it sitting right to your flank, you get a nice bonus for that. It can't have fired in the bombardment phase if you want to do that, though. No, it cannot. And you get a nice bonus if you are first time firing. How about supporting bases? This is straight from DBA. If you have units to your left and right that are not themselves engaged, which is to say they have somebody within one base width ahead of them, they can support you, help you fight. And now we talk about the strangest thing in Palamos. I was talking to Red about this before we went on the air. This combat system is actually incredibly simple, but it reads incredibly opaquely. But it's basic. You, and Red is right about this, when you bring a unit into contact, you're going to look at the person you're contacting and say, what are you doing? And this is critically important because the unit you're attacking, let us imagine an, an a infantry unit is attacking another infantry unit. That unit has three options. Do nothing, take the melee. Shoot at long range. Or shoot at close range. Before anything else happens then, depending on what you choose, there is an opposed role. The defending unit, if it chooses to shoot, may or may not be able to get to shoot. If it does, it'll shoot. But if it does cho to choose to shoot, it gets a negative. It gets a bad thing. So it's a wonderfully, it's an interesting dynamic. I'm looking, to, looking forward to seeing how it plays out. But you have to make a difficult choice. It's the same choice you have to make if you form square. Cavalry, cavalry, take a look here. Cavalry, infantry. That's artillery. There it is. Will you fire at close range? Will you fire within base width? Will you fire at point blank range? You know, you've got to make these decisions. And based on and once those decisions are made, then we get to these outcomes. Which come down to levels of shaken. At the end of every turn. Oh yes. Yes, hey Daniel, you got to get in very, very close to be able to fire. 
Everything is very, very close range. It's obviously very zoomed out stuff. At the end of every turn, Oh, let's talk, before we talk about that, let's talk about rallying. You can rally by having a unit be stationary, not in close combat, or under fire. And it costs one shaken level, can be rallied per turn, and this costs two temple points per base. Also, a general or the CNC can rally one shaken level per turn for any base with, he is, with which he is in contact, and in any other circumstance other than close combat combat you will see the statistic secure flanks that means that you are anchored on a friendly unit or impassable terrain If a base in which a general is in contact is fired upon or becomes involved in a melee, dice are thrown. Bear that in mind. There is a possibility of death. But at the end of every turn, any time you get one or more of your units suffering any increase in shaken levels, you run the risk that that brigade becomes spent. That is very much like the unit becoming spent in black powder. It then just turns around and marches off the table. And then every turn, we calculate army morale. And this is a morale clock. Both units have a certain number of subordinate officers. And this is multiplied by 2.5. Well, let's take the easy one right here. Right now on this table, there's just one. Now, obviously, there will be more. There could possibly be two if we get Foot Maryland on the table. Two times 2.5 is five. If at any point in the turn, we, you're, going to, you're going to roll a d6 and deduct that result from the army's critical morale. If it is zero or less, sorry, falls below zero, so if it's below zero, the army breaks and the game is over. All right. I'm going to caution you. Deep units can, when a unit, one of the results that can happen in close combat and in, in uh, shooting is re, is with is um, being pushed back a base depth. If that happens, or base width, I should say, any units pushed back with them are shoved back and take a shaken level. In addition, the unit pushing back takes an additional shaken level. So quickly becomes essentially spent um, until you can rally it. Uh, just by falling back that way. So be very careful about fighting in great depth. You're going to have to march in depth, otherwise you'll never get into contact with the enemy. But if you try to fight in great depth, you're going to wind up disordering the columns behind you, which actually strikes me as pretty accurate. I will not lie. So the first thing here to do is we have to determine, if unless there's any questions about the rules. Questions about the rules. There's probably going to be a ton of them. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Going to be. All right. Well, let's let, well, we'll let them happen. First thing we got to do is figure out how many allies are on the board. This is a random thing. It's set by the scenario. Red, I'm going to let you choose who you want to roll your dice. If you think you or Achilles has the hot hand, uh, you're going to want to roll a high number. The higher you get, the more troops you're going to get. Go ahead, Achilles. You want a big number. Three. It's not terrible. You get Perponcher, Von Merlin, and Picton. So you already got Perponcher. That's Von Merlin. I figured you would very likely get him. Let me drag Picton on for you. I'll even show you the map. The maps they do for this game are lovely. I really do like them. Where's old Pick? Where's Pick? <clears throat> Alton. Cook. Picton. Pick is right there. And I got his number there. Good. And his grace. Where did the... What's going to happen from now on, at the end of every turn, somebody on the allied side is going to roll a die. On a five or six, one more of those reserves comes on the table. Alton. 
All right. So I will let both sides now, because it should be simultaneous, improve their deployments, discuss strategy, etc. I recommend you each. I don't know if you're on Teams already. Yes, you are. Well done. I'll let you chat a little bit while I go out and see what sort of trouble people are making out in the YouTubes. And also reestablish your deployments. And, uh, you know, because like I say, advancing in column, good idea. It's efficient and all that stuff. Attacking in column, bad idea. Don't do it. Yeah, Ray, you know, it's funny you say that. Red and I were talking about this. We we were discussing the fact that the, these rules really do read like they were written by someone who just was trying to strip this down to the barest of barest bones and left out way too much. All right, Tommy. I'll take you up on your bet. This table is actually divided up into uh, two, it's ba into base widths, which you remember are two and a half inches. So it's a little bigger. Almost 75 by 60. <laughs> I don't know how much confusion there'll be. I, I, I'm quite curious as i said i and and you know red and i've discussed it i think the rules are actually pretty simple i just think they're very badly edited Did you see my message? Yes. I responded. Are they uh, are they in their jump off position now, or are we allowed to move them at all, or what? Well, I, I think you can. Re I you know I'm going to be pretty generous with that piece of it. Um, if you want to move them about, they're in their deployment area. Okay. One thing I should note. Is that when the commander, the uh, the commander in chief, sends down an a pair of or a group of temple points to his inferior officers, we have to check and see how far away they are. If they are, yeah, six, twelve. If they are more than fifteen inches apart, center to center you get only half the, the effect. So if you thought you were sending four, you only send two. Yeah, you need no limbers on the table at this time, unless you're deploying that gun. In my case, yes, I am. All right, he's deploying that gun. So where's our deployment bot? Like this, you're this in where it. they're deployed like you're, that? You're in it. All right. I will say that um, this command in here, these infantry, that, that is the full extremity of it, including this empty space. Here, I'll turn it on a sec. See what I'm talking. It's easier to show. See where it starts? You can actually go a little yeah, further Yeah, I see. Yeah. I'm, I'm making the assumption that Picton is where he has to be, right? Oh, no. Put him where you like. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, you're going to want to keep him proximate to his men, but other than that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I meant uh, I meant his brigade. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That, that, sorry, the brigade, is where, the, the brigade is where it is. If you want to move units within it, I have no concern. But okay. again, also note that you've got Kempt. I, I organized them by brigade. So mm -hmm. you've got Kempt, Pack, Von Vinke. Okay. And they will Please, take... I'm going to recommend you keep these together mm -hmm. because... There are formation uh, uh, status things as well. Right. The morale checks that we're going to have to do. And that's every time one of those guys gets smacked. Mm -hmm. Drops a roll, the, the whole entire brigade does a, a check. And where is Wellington going to be? 
Wellington can be wherever you like him to be. I mean, to me, it would seem he'd probably hang up back here. Oh, they're where they were. Fun Maryland was in the right England. Oh, Fun Maryland was in the right spot. Okay. That's where he goes. If he would like, he could send him back to England. <laughs> <laughs> or back to, actually, in, in his case, back to Vienna. Ah, uh, yes. Vienna. That's where he's coming from. Happy turnip, Ian. And it's a beet, not a turnip. I like beets. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Checkerboards. Thought about that. Very Roman legionary. <laughs> also Napoleonic, strangely enough. What my dear friend Ian is referring to is I have a new obsession with Victorian Christmas cards. And there, there is a, if you go to my Facebook page, you will see that there was a card of a man dressed, well, he's a beat. His body is a beat and his head is a human with a top hat and he's wearing a monocle and he's, and he's got a gravestone carved into the shape of a heart that says Merry Christmas. And I've said I don't really do a great job of sending out Christmas cards, but uh, that's what I'm doing from now on. If I do send out Christmas cards, that's what they're going to look like. Allies ready? Achilles, you moving your troops, sir? I thought that they were where they had to start. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty much there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yep. I would have moved them. <laughs> yeah, no, I figured you might have. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Sorry, sir. They're going to have to march there. <laughs> well, you know, and here's the thing. I tell you what, put them in the deployment area. We'll call it even. You see that line? Oh, uh, this dotted line yeah that dash line yeah so anywhere within that yep or behind yep. that i should say yeah behind oh yep. okay mm -hmm. well that changes things dramatically yeah i figured it might <laughs> all right can you remember where that is yeah i'm going to set this first unit right on it so i'll know good i gotta say these bases look great with that many soldiers on them yeah yeah it's it's it's, it's a neat aesthetic i mean there's no doubt bacchus creates a wonderful aesthetic with its miniatures and it's no different when you jam in a whole bunch of look at, look at those guys look at there even the dutch then you get a really cool unit like these highlander freaks Does Napoleon have no one to send against me but these Amazons? 
Sorry about that. Uh, da -da. Now, how do you find... I'm sorry, give me that again, Ryan. You dropped out. What? Why do we... Know. What's the first thing we got to do? Ooh. The first thing you're going to do once our, once Achilles gets done repositioning his dudes is there's going to be a roll for um, temple yeah, points. Everything, everything. Right. Right. Hey, Red. Okay, so or, that's plus or, whatever um, I have out here. So, so yeah, you got cool. six. You got six. They got three. Go ahead, Achilles. Uh, does Von Vink belong to you or me? Oh, that belongs to Pac. Nope. Take a look. Hold Picton? hold over it. It's the Fifth Hanoverian Division, which is picked. Ah. Yep. Yeah. And that includes that other gun as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry about that, Jim. It's just being very laggy and very pingy. Like everybody, I think it probably including me, or 9999. Yeah, see, because I'm getting everybody except you at below 200. Yeah, so I'm going, I'm going high. Right. Which is unusual. Okay, I'm done. All right, I like it. All right, so the first thing to do, as I said, it's uh, not too hard to figure out. It's there are one, two, three divisional commanders on the Allied side, six of them on the French side. So run and run and red. If you would roll, it's plus six plus three. Oh, nice. Nine. Oh, of course. Nine to eight. All right, so that's the start. Now the question is, um, you go in here, and Ron, you got to make your bid. Sorry, I screwed that. I can't believe I did that. This needs to be red. Make your tempo bid there, Ron. Excellent. The two tempo bids are in. The, Fr the French have bid four. The Allies have bid two. As a consequence, um, the French will have the tempo and they will play first. There's obviously no bombardment. Nobody's close. So the next thing you do, Ron, is you move all your generals if you wish. And then we're going to pass down the, the points. We'll go through it mechanically a couple turns. I'm sure it'll get a little bit easier as we go on. You've got a total of eight. You spent four, which means you have four points left. You have to split them between Rael and Kellerman. They then pass them down, however many you give them, to their subordinates who then multiply them. I think everybody you've got is... Oh, no. Pire is decisive. So he's going to turn... I caught half of that, but just correct me when I'm wrong. Yeah, he's going to turn it into five. So uh, the first, if, is are your generals where you want them to be, or do you want to move them? I want to move them. All right. 7.5 inches for a general. How far can they move? 7.5. They don't have to move the whole distance. No. Hey, John. Kinu. Pleasure to see you. What card is that? Wow, what the... Yeah, I'm lagging big time. Alright, we're going to divide... I guess give... We don't have to divide it evenly, right? We could divide it... I could give this guy one, and then... Correct. Then him three, yep. right? Which is probably the right thing to do. Which is I'm going to do. Alright. And so how many, so since he has three, how many do you give to uh, Pierre? Pierre, I suppose. One. Okay. So he gets ones, which he turns into five. And Bachelou, how many do you give him? One. He turns that into four. And how about Foy? 
Oh, sorry, Jerome Bonaparte. Well, that'd be the last one. Okay, unless you want to give it to Foy, it's up to you. No, I'll give it to him. All right. And uh, who is he giving the one point he's got to, either Lertier or Jobal? Yes. You have a choice, sir. No. <laughs> and no. No. All right, ah. he's capable, so that's four. So, Velker, which ones are you commanding? So, I believe I have Soy. You got Foy? I got Soy. No, no, remember, it's divisional commands. Uh, in that case, you probably have Foy, Lertier. Okay, so you've got Foy over. Yeah. All right, so Foy has no commands. Um, Lertier, has Lertier has four points. What do you want to do with those four points? So let's talk about how this works. He's got these brigades. If you want them to move the way that in an ideal world they'd move, you want them to be in a group, which means they have to touch. Okay? That's a horse gun. You can attach it. Can I? Mm hmm. Now, the trick is this gun goes here to this but now now it becomes uh, it becomes wide what's the matter let's go ron did ron go away ron's gone oh man we'll see if he can log back in you can't go across this way well you can but it'll slow you down it cuts your movement in half if you do this, each one... Now, you've got enough points. It's really your choice. You can take these, this one here and this one here and move it at full. Oh, yes. Because it's a column. So you might as well go over those, these. And then, yeah, that's, that's it. So you can move this column. This, you can move this group, this group, and this group. And that would be three. That would be one each, so you'd have one left. Cool. That's what I'll do then. Do I, d I know those are, those are horse guns, right? Um, yes. Five. And those are Dragoons and Curassier. Wow, so they're not... Yeah, those Dragoons are that 6.3. And the Heavies, they're, they're both 6.3. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. All right. And you're done. Do we have Rania back yet? No. I'm here. All right. It's your turn to move, sir. I'm just trying to get in. All right. Hmm. My computer decided to restart itself. I don't know why. Huh? <laughs> Oh, you got the beetroot man card. Oh, you found the card. Got it. <laughs> Telling you, he's the real deal. Don't play. But that seemed to clear up the friggin' voicing and stuff, so that seems to be a risk coming in clear. Some days you just got to restart it. Yeah. Or the computer told me it had to restart, so. <laughs> Uh, question: Are yep. squares are squares divisional or? There's no squares. There's no squares. No. Oh, never mind then. No. <laughs> you just stand there and get smacked by cavalry. Huh? Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> what it comes down no. to. What is if you take a look at the? Uh... It's that whole choice of yeah. It's the attack fire. phase. They can elect yeah. to fire or form square, right? And but there's or. no square. But they don't they don't make a square. But they don't make a square. Okay. There's no square to make. You. That whole base is a battalion. Okay. Yeah, basically the what the base is supposed to represent, that's supposed to be the total deployment zone uh, area of the battalion, whether it's in line, whether it's in column, a march column, um <clears throat> or in square. 
Okay. And, uh, you know, just putting a little cube on it or whatever, a little marker, or it, like if you want to do, turn around and uh, mark it as being in square, that's up to you. Color the base, you know. No, no, <laughs> because that has to change, you see, my friend. <laughs> and and as, as, yeah, me. <laughs> At least these aren't 12 millimeter. True, as far as I know. I haven't checked. Anyway, all right, I want to move here. These guys. They're artillery. Who do they move with? They move by themselves. Unless you want to widen them out. I you, mean, you, you under want, whose you... command? That's what I mean. Well, you, you, they're second core artillery. They just go to anybody in the second core. Okay. Your core asset. Mm -hmm. Don't curse at me. <laughs> <laughs> you can have them support individual battalions. You can have them support brigades. You know, whatever. Right, okay. And horse movement is how far? It depends on the horse. These dudes, seven inches. And he goes with them, right? Well, no, he should have moved first. That's the, that's... Oh, I thought you meant the core guys. No, no, everybody, guys. everybody, everybody, everybody. Oh, some... Which is fine, because they're actually... Oh, yeah. You're, you're going to want to attach... Yeah. You are probably going to want to attach yeah. him to this group. Um, which then, in which case he moves with them. But the other thing is, and I just want you to understand why it works this way. You're actually moving two groups and the first group is here and the second group is here. You've got more than enough points to do it, but because you're moving a group that is only one base with wide, that's why you get to move the full two. So it's, uh, or three. All right. And these are two different brigades anyway. Yep. Mm-hmm. And you want to attach and that'd be somebody. two points yeah and that's that's yep and that's all he's got anyway to move right which is it gets five wow yeah no no pierre is a weird kind of waste of points especially wait wait till well here we are let's talk about bachelor let's talk about bachelor let's talk about that dude um this is all one brigade right yep i set him up by brigades Groups are of three. One, two, three. That is, so that's one of his four points. This is a second point. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So this is one, two, three. So this is one, two, three, four. This group is all four of his points. So if I want to attach an artillery, that makes it even worse. Yep. Oh, I don't like this system. <laughs> That's just weird. Mm-hmm. Thinks the guns get stuck. Or... Well, I've, so I'm hit... sort of laboring, and I don't know what you think about this, Red, but I'm sort of laboring under the assumption because they clearly show units with guns attached that this is still one base width wide. This here. Where that is that is one this in this brigade yes it is one base width. But wide. can he take can he attach the gun here? Yes. And that's still one but, base width. But okay, if we're gonna go back in and uh, budge the de deployment because we're playing the game, if he wants to put this, I see no reason why he can't. Okay, so that yeah, and that's not clear to me. There are clear pictures in the book of those artillery pieces being directly attached to groups. They can group. And I don't think that that makes a wide. So if you want to do that, something yes. like that, Ron, go ahead. These guns can travel with mm -hmm. these this with this unit. There's no problem. The only problem is, is that uh, with the gun detached, it's not on the side. It's like either out in front or, you know, somewhere in the column. It doesn't matter. It's... The, the the guns themselves, unless you're moving a two unit or more unit of guns and they're not attached. Yeah. If they're not attached, then they have to then they have to follow the stipulations. Is that's as far that as makes, I know. That makes good But sense if they're attached, me. they have to be, you know, you have to that's just, you know, you turn around and say, Well, oh, this gun is attached that. to the first This one, of the this one, this one. Cost me one point. Then yep. this one. This is a second, yep. 
a second, yep. and this one, this one, this one. So I want to move these guns are part of the second core, so I want to move a second core. So the only way to really move a second core is to attach them with these to these guns. I agree, and I think that's yeah. the intent. I do think that's the intent. Mm -hmm. That is the intent, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. That's why I see no problem with them. So if I understand all of that, by attaching the gun to a unit, you basically double its its um, movement distance. No, because I still think it's got to move only as slow as the gun. I don't think you cannot pace the gun. Okay, because a field piece is, is one base width, but an infantry unit is two base widths for movement, for yeah. regular movement, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if you attach <laughs> excuse me if you attach a gun to an infantry unit I then you, you yeah, i think you just have to slow it down okay <clears throat> i don't see how you Which get away that would be how two and a half i think you should have gone with three inches on these we made it easy on everybody the, well in honesty they're 60 millimeter that's what's easy. I just somebody complained, and I agreed with them. Yeah, but the metric system—it's decimals. It's like counting money. That nah, sucks. No, the metric system sucks. <laughs> sucks all the rocks. So we have uh, to how decimalize how far you the say? Three uh, inches? Period. Two and a half. It's almost just. It's going to take you three days to get there. <laughs> so I might as well just ditch the guns, and the guns are useless. Or pull one gun behind the other, you're still going to only move one, in, one, you I, know, half a thing. No, I can't put one gun behind the other because i got to use the other four to move my infantry up. So I can't move the guns on up at all. That's the point I'm trying to Or move the guns up by themselves. Which I have to spend the points, which I needed for the infantry. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't have that many points. Have that many points? He only has his four points. He has his four points, and all he has is four points. Oh, so with these guys only having four points, they had that's their whole infantry unit. They can't, they don't have any more to move the guns. All right, what the heck? Let's speed them up by attaching them. Let's see what happens. Which is then what? Five, so put this gun okay. Oh, wait, do it this way go. One, two, in the gun, and then one, two, this way. Yeah, but the point is, is that if you do that, and this gun is only allowed to move its gun rate. Then these guys are just stuck behind them. It's two and a half inches. Well. Which doesn't on, make Ron. Adapt. Overcome. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, yeah. take command the decisions. We have to take one of the guns. <clears throat> is there a turn limit? First off, no, no, it's it's morale break. Okay, then never mind. <laughs> if there was a turn limit, you would get rid of the guns. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Well, if you haven't won by January, yes. Right there, you go. <laughs> Guess what? It's going to take the January for me to get up there. I don't know if that's true. I mean, it takes too long. I think I'm I'm already questioning that, but. It, it takes uh, long, but, All right. Without the guns, how much do they move? Five. Well, except they're on a road, so don't they get like? Uh, oh yeah, that's true. They get an, they get another inch if they if you want it. No, they're fine because I need them to stay within. Leaders. Yeah, I was. That's why I didn't mention it. It's because I didn't think he wanted them that out front that far. Put his guns on the road. Move them up faster. Ah, uh, yeah. These guys are two and a half. Now, again, you've got Baudin, who you gave. He's got four points. I think this one works out evenly. One. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, and that's it.
nicely done. Oh, I missed the cannon on that. <laughs> Dang it. Got it. <laughs> I almost had it. And there we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You get that for free, too. Oh, okay. Because it's up to three. And then this guy got nothing. Okay. He got nothing. All right, that's it. That's all the points. Uh, now we come back over here. You all rolled a lot. Uh, you rolled six plus three, which is nine, but you spent two. So you got seven points. And uh, red, you get to allocate them to anybody you want. You got the three, so I don't know how much you want to spend. Go right ahead. We're going to give one to Von Merlitt. Okay. That's what and I'm going to give... Uh, I'm going to give four to Pack. You mean Picton? Picton, yes. Picton. Oh, Pack's Brigade, the whole unit. Yeah, Pax. That's, that's Picton. Okay. Yeah. All right. There it is then. Uh, so Picton, well, since you've got the most points, he's going to convert. He got four points. He now has 16 points. That sounds good. Okay. I don't know if you're going to so, need anywhere near that many, but go right ahead. Don't wall <laughs> gag. I don't intend to. Um, okay, so I'm moving. If I move them, I, I can get some tea. Like, I'll be back. Mm-hmm. Three, three together is is one three, point. Is three, that right? Correct. Mm-hmm. So, and they can go five inches. Five inches. Yeah, you, you you're gonna have well more than you need. Now to bring his remaining group up, that cost me another one. Correct. Now, I forgot to check. Uh, Red, you didn't put Wellington in a good spot. I'm giving you that good spot. And he's still well more than 15 inches away. So this this is cut in half to eight. Okay. So I've now spent two. Yep. So you got six left. To move my gun will cost me one more. One point, yep. That's two and a half. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay, next group. We have five left. This will be four. Three. You shove them up behind. And this is two, one. So I'll have one remaining. Is that Mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to move all these guys together then. Who are those guys? So I'm wondering about. Them. <laughs> That's these guys I've been, can. I've been trying to figure out what they were doing up there all this time. So. It'd just be a double. Kills when I goes off maps. So. And that's another one. Yeah, that's that's it's so. That's it's, it. So you know that to move your unit, it costs eight points. Red. There you go. Red, you got a grand total of four. You don't think you need a fraction of it? Go right ahead. Hey. So you just make sure, like, cavalry moves. Seven. Three, so that's seven. And I'll just move the whole unit, if mm-hmm. you don't mind. Not at all. That'd be straight ahead, though. Left, left, left. Way left. Way left. Still left. Still more left. That thing you call left. Still not close. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Just there. There you got it. And I'll go right. <laughs> stop. You stop. There we go. All right. Make sure they're touching. All right. Is that it? I think that's it. So the turns don't take long once the system comes in, which is what I'm hoping redeems the movement, but I guess we'll find out. Um, there's obviously nobody took any damage. There's no shooting. There's no melees. 
Uh, that's it. Turn two. Click to turn two. Do we have to roll to see if I have more troopies coming on? Oh, you do. You're right. Thank you for that, Red. Five or six. Uh, you want to do Achilles or my turn? Oh, go ahead. You rolled well. Okay, here we go. And we're... Oh, yes. look at you. Congratulations. You You're hot tonight, Red. Hot streak. Hot streak. <laughs> uh, let's get... The... That's not fair. Do you... <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Delanor, I want lots of ones during the bombardment by you. Okay. <laughs> What I want. No. That's your motiv motivation. All right. So you get Brunswick coming on. Well done. Let's see. I believe he comes in right through here. Well, he, he comes in. He comes in on this road, basically. So he's going to come. Yeah, because I had a set up here. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna he's gonna come marching on here. So I'll let you pick his marching order. You can spread him out. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. But he should come marching on this road. Two by two. Two by two. <laughs> Before I go into court and he did ride. Um, and also that does, of course, add an additional commander. So now you're going to add one, two, three, four. So it's six to four. Six to four for initiative. Nine. 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 Oh. Nine to eight. Nine to eight. Ron bid. Run bid, red bid. Okay, dog. Red is your bid in? Done. I'm in. The bid is four to two. The French retain the tempo. So that was nine five. You have five points, Ron. Two for Kellerman. Oh, generous. And press three over here to. So who's getting them? I'll let Kellerman divide it up himself. That'd be you, Velker. You could divide that up. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah, that's one each. All right, we'll deal. With, so they're gonna get four total. Let's uh. Well, the first thing we should do is move generals that are loose, that aren't attached to anybody. So move your generals if you want to. Seven and a half. And what's the range they have to be from? Fifteen inches. And that's, in this case, it's the core commanders. That's the advantage of having core commanders. You don't have to worry about that. They got to worry about this. You know that you got to worry about the distance from Rael to this guy and Rael to this. Right. Guy. That's what I was doing, like yeah. over here, just to get general, because I know I was going for him. You know, I just if I'm not if I'm past fifteen here, then I'm. I mean, here right, so I you got good. you had five, you gave two, so you got three left. Uh. <laughs> I just figured out, yeah. See what it is? I'm rolling low. There is a way I could have done with the cannons. All right, we'll give two. Oh, wait a minute. He has. Where is Foy's marker? I don't know. That's what I was just looking for. There's now a Foy marker. Go right ahead. I think I see it. Right there. All right, so who are you giving what? All right, we'll go. He, uh, him is here, right? And this? This is, yeah, this is one division. We'll give him two. Jerome gets eight. And then one and one. Four. Four. Velker, we'll start over here with you. Yeah. 
Lertier. Lertier. And then Gerbois. Gerbois. Man. Can't do the chocolate. Yes, they're even heavier still. All right, here I go. All right, so that's that. Let's scooch over here next. This is Foy. That's you too, I think. Yep. Four points. You, that's fine. We'll take them as. Very good. All right. This is yours, right, Valkyrie? I'm sorry. Yeah. For the record, there are no scaling issues. Always a pleasure to see you, Marky. Charming. Absolutely <laughs> charming. Uh, he's got a cannon attached, he's so got it's a cannon, two point, So 2.5. Yeah. Don't get me at one. Unless you want to detach that cannon. Uh, yeah, you can detach that if you want. You don't have to have a Belker. I can, you the know, problem is, like you I said, can, yeah, you can attach the Belker. I don't want to leave it behind, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's one, two, three, and then you got this guy. You can pull him up on four. Right? You got eight over here. Uh, all right, basically just move it. Up. Why do I keep selecting the board? It's because if you try to grab too much, you'll get the board. Your grace, message for you, sir. I know that's a little overkill in points, but. Now, does it cost going through? Gemini? Yeah, it usually does. It should wipe out all your movement. I don't understand how you're supposed to move through that because it cost you a base width. So that's all my move. No, you're gonna get to move. You you can move a base with go. That's another mark against these rules to me. That's two. And did you pitch any over here for uh No. I didn't think so. No, I did two over here so I could get the solar unit to move. Yep, yep. Is that a town or an enclosure? This is an enclosure. All troops half speed except for two uh skirmish two two what is it? Skirmish two infantry. They only get half half a base length through there. Yeah, but what if it were what if it were a town? What would their move be? Town, it would be. It's on the uh, on page fourteen. Oh, I know. Look rules. at the chart. If it were a town, yeah, what would their move be? One. Yeah. If they're one column wide, it's one column. Yeah, but what if they got a gun attached? It's one move. Then what? it's half. Then it's probably half a half a. Uh, Why? Thing. No, that's not what it says. 
That's not what it the says. Only thing negotiated by columns, one base width wide, moving at one base width per turn. Oh, okay, so it does get a base width. Okay, that. Okay, so I inverted it in my head. That's on me, horse here. So it worked fine. Oh, that's everybody. Sorry, guys. Okay, cool. That one was on me. All right, so over here, we had four plus four, eight, minus two, six. Where will Wellington spend his points? Wellington is going to give uh, Picton. Oh, wait. First, I move my general, right? Yes, if you wish to. First, I move my general. Yes. Okay. Seven inches only. Right there? Mm hmm. Sure. and a half right seven seven inches well, seven and a half you're right you're right quite right okay we're going to give uh picton six all right that's all your points uh, I, i'll give him four he gets four that and, gives him 16, uh, so. Yeah, Brunswick gets, uh, um, let's see, going to move Brunswick forward, but then that leaves him out of command of his unit. Let's see, let's move him forward. Seven and a half. He's now probably close enough. He was already close. He was close enough back let's then. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to give him two. Two. He is capable, so that's eight. And that's, uh, that's everything. So we'll let uh, the Duke of Brunswick show me what he's doing. Pretty much organize this how you like. Here. Well, I mean, you know. Single column. Are you kidding me? What is with you? I don't know. She goes six because that's a road. Thank you, sir. There we go. Snug that all up real nice. Thank you. That's one. Let's see, that's one. He's capable. That only gets turned into four. So that's eight. Four? Mm hmm. Okay. It's three, four, five. So you've got six left. Let's get the cavalry out there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the cavalry out in front. Okay. Yep. I think we might need them. Sure. Because <laughs> that is an arm we are short on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Move him. No. Oh mm -hmm. no! I get a wheel. Yeah, you're right. And you can't uh, wheel through them because they're not stationary. That's right. Yeah, I bought them in out of order. Let's just get them out of the way. We can All right, you might, Red, you might want to, well, when I you don't, do bring them on, you, you know, might want right, to angle them, them towards. If, if you want to put them left and right of the road, you can. Okay. You might want to put them on the left-hand side because we have no cavalry on this side. He's got a ton coming across that river over there. Where? No, we don't. <laughs> That's not true. Take it back. That's, yeah, exactly. Don't lie to him. <clears throat> I can see the sun glinting off their caress. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can only get his brigade on, and then I run out of room. Road-wise, yeah. 
Okay, that's one, two, three. Um, this brigade can wait. We'll get the guns on one after the other over here. Those are horse guns. Are they really? Mm -hmm. That's why they got a horse well, on them. Well, yep. they can go five. Mm -hmm. Yep. I put a horse right on them. We have more. Not that much more. <laughs> stuck right there. I believe I'm done. It's one, no. two, three, four. Five. You got three more. How can I have five more? You have three more. He only had two more, so that's I only get four. You have you gave him you gave Brunswick two, right? No, I only gave him I gave him two. Yes I did. Eight. So one, two, three, four, five. You have three more. And math is usually not my thing. <laughs> Ask Marky Hustler, Mr. Smarty Pants in the peanut gallery. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. Okay. There you go. Got them all in. All right. Mm -hmm. Looks like we uh, our eyes turn to you, Achilles. Okay. I have sixteen, so yeah, you got you got buckets of points. You got way more than yeah. you need, but you go nuts. Okay. Wait a minute. These are fields. They can only go two and a half. Okay. No, the horse is not ammunition. No, it's not food either. There we go. Hello. Hello. It is my bride. Hello, bride. Hello, Hello Bubba. Hello, dear. Okay. I'm gonna say this is kind of a nice picture. I don't I don't hate this. Now of course it's Giorgio's lovely figs that are getting it done for us, but still a nice pic. Straight ahead, please, though. There you go. Stop drinking, Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you've been a soldier, my friend. That's all they got going for him. <laughs> that and sleep. <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> stagger, 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 left, left, stagger. It's, uh, so that's two more, so you're at four. So you've only got 100 million left, so go keep going. Let me ask you a question. Um, with the points I have remaining, mm -hmm. do you, is that how you do like formation changes and things like that as well? Uh, no, formation changes replace all other movement, and ah. you, you spend two points, and you're allowed to change the that allows you to ch to change the formation of an entire force. So everybody that's kind of grouped together, a group. So, for example, uh, by group you mean. Pack's brigade. Yes, exactly. As opposed to right. Picton's division. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Okay. I would move this one up, move the gun up, and to get these two guys in the line. Well, and I've already. This guy was space behind. Yeah, he's already moved the. Guns. I've already oh, moved okay. the guns, so I can't move the guns up further. And and actually, not sure I want to. I was going to go online where these guys are. And obviously, um, and obviously, you're just going to have to have room for that. I, I don't think you do yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't. So. You actually might. You'd have it over to the left. You wouldn't have it over to the right. And you form completely to the left? Or no, do you have no. to go you, left you form, and right? As you form, you can form any way you like. But as you're forming, you can only move two and a half inches. Okay. So, so what it basically means, and it's a, this is DBA, 
if you if these guys were snug as they should be like this yeah what it basically means is this guy can go here this guy can go there and you're done and then this guy pulls up behind to wait i see so yeah if you want to start really shooting possible. them if you want to start shooting them out further this way you're going to have to wait extra turns okay um yeah I'm going to need one more turn to do that. All right. So I might as well move these guys. And for those who didn't know, I'm super upset we missed the Dunfling double on Thursday due to my stupid internet stupid being out. I really wanted to get back to try out a game of uh, LaSalle 2. All right, I believe that is everybody. Yeah, I, did. I didn't think you were going to need all them points. Actually, I probably didn't even need to mark them. That's it. All right. Red, you got the hot hand. Can you get your uh, last two, one of your last two fellows out there? Uh, I'm going to let Achilles roll this one. All right. Then I have somebody deployment on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's an NCO right there. Yeah, yeah there you go. Is. That's <laughs> nice. It's the there dice. Is. There it it's is. The it's dice. the dice. So uh, nobody shows up. Let's flip over to turn three. Let's do a little roll here. Uh, still uh, six to four. Six to four. Oh! There we go. Twelve to eight. Pick your uh, tempos, please. All set? Yeah. You're good. Red, you're good? Yes. Yes, I am. Four to one. French have the tempo, but they've got eight points. I don't think anybody's got any artillery in range yet. This would strike me as highly unlikely. And Well, shoot, nobody's unlimbered. So, Ron, you got eight points. How many are you given to Kellerman? How many are you given to Rael? David Ross, great. Well, let's give two to Kellerman. Uh, Kellerman. Kellerman, one each. Is that what you want to do? Okay, Kellerman does one each, so that's four four. Excellent, worked out perfectly. How are you going to spread these out? Very carefully. You funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, four, two, four, two there. That's eight, just like it shows. Right, Got two one. left, just like that. One left. Should I have more than that left? I should have three left. You had a total of eight. Right. So, two. Total of eight. You gave three, two here. Four, that left you with five. six. Three, four. Two here. Six. Two here. Uh -huh. So that's four. Agreed. So that gives me four more. So one more here. Yes, sir. That would be three. Agreed. One more here. Two. Two. Four. Anything You're right. Illegal or unsavory. <laughs> so I have two left, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. No I will be right back. In one here. Mm-hmm. One left. Uh, Velker, is that a, is four enough to move the whole unit? One. Uh, one, two. Yes, it is. Okay. Or if we would like to speak with whoever's here who's not living, what do hmm. we need to do? I have an extra point somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't quite know what you're going to do with it, unfortunately. Is there anything we can do to help you? Actually, here, put them here. All right, let's start, I do. Where, it's sim let's start where it's simple. Velker, go. Yeah. Uh, how does moving through a town affect my cavalry? It's not a town, as Red pointed out, it's an enclosure. Pull that out. Hey, that's my first trip into the rules. You're welcome. Well, we've also, not too bad. We've also had to make well, up. We have to make up some stuff too. 
Well, Booker, uh, they, they, have to, they have to walk through their single file. We don't <laughs> make up stuff. Half speed. This isn't black powder. <laughs> <laughs> wow, zing. Half speed. So, the, yeah, would have been seven and a seven and a half. So it's three seven five. So it's three eight. Three eight. <clears throat> oh, they're both heavies. You're right. Two point fives. Well, tell them to lose some weight. Hey. <laughs> Aww, hey. They're not fat. They're just big boned. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the. Uh, the stream or whatever, uh, is that the same impact? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I was just looking at it. Stream cost, it actually, that is what costs one base width of movement. Artillery is shaken after uh, crossing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, no, it costs one base width. So it, it takes, yeah, I don't, this is the one I didn't get. Our uh, regular artillery basically. By that, by the mere definition, can't cross the can't cross the stream. So how do I get These guys can because they've got enough movement, but you can't drag a gun across this, a regular foot gun across the stream. So, by the definition. So because they're horse, they can. But, but because they're horse, they move. They move that extra one base. Okay, I'm back. They move two, so they get to move one over the river. So this guy's moved, this guy's moved, top of the guns. This guy's moved, yeah. Oh, they didn't? Okay, sorry. This guy. Yep. For it. Thank you, bad friend. You're, you're ditching that gun. Thanks for that. So slow. We have the option of leaving the guns behind and bringing them up later because they do have that much longer range. Well, it's. It, I think I buy it to be honest because those guns are are slow. You know, I'm. I think I'm in. Hey, they're just mentally challenged. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hey! Come on now. These guns are nice. They're nice guns. All right. We don't leave her no guns behind. There you go. <laughs> so, so Foy's done. We're over here to uh, Jerome. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, well, uh, <clears throat> while Delinar's army tactically crawls towards the British lines, yes, I shall get something to drink. I'll be right back. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, that's one. Keep going.
That's two. And then that's three. Four, five. All right, that's five, and then we'll do these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a logic to bringing the guns up separately, I think. If you have the points for them. Well, you did, though, right? I mean, you got to get good right, points. Right, now I did, yes. You got to get good points. I get that, but... Oh, would you look at that? What are eight pounders range? Seven base widths. Two point five times seven five. Seventeen point five. All right. Did I miss anything? Oh yeah, dramatic, game changing. <laughs> did did they actually get any closer? They they did. <laughs> That's the thing. They they did. The stream was brutal, but <laughs> molasses Alrighty. going still in winter. <laughs> All right, that it. Yep. All right, Red. You bid all a one. So you had you got seven left. Where do you want to spend them? So twenty two on Picton. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and well, we do have the advantage that the uh, the Dutch over there and the, on that side don't need to move. So that's that. Well, at least not yet, anyway. So with the French having moved red, who gets what? Let's go. Uh, let's see. I believe I have seven points this time. Affirmative. Yes. Uh, I'm going to give four to Picton. 16 again. That's more than he needs to do everything. Very good. I'm going to give, uh, what is it? Uh, one to... Uh, for Poncher. For Poncher. Four. And I'm going to give um, four, five. Is that two? I'm going to give two to the Duke of Brunswick. All right, that's all of them. Who do you want to start with? Pack. Picton, you're Picton. up. Picton, move. You move, have all, move, move. All the points you want. All right. Um. <clears throat> Is there any order to this? Like, for example, if I want to unlimber my guns, I assume that's like a formation change type of thing. Do I actually, have to do that first actually, or af if, after? If your formation stands still, it's mm -hmm. free, believe it or don't. Really? Yeah. If you, it's Well, it makes sense. It means your, your uh, formation is deploying as if for battle. Very good. Um, but uh, so <clears throat> if, if you are standing still, and by the way, changing formation 
in is also standing still. Um, however, if you don't, you just uh, take a full turn to limber. If that's all you do, or limber. Okay. Or limber. So to, um, to to do that, I just put one of these limbers. Exactly. Out, right? Exactly. All right. Very good. That didn't even cost you nothing. And we're going to do that with this second gun as well. <clears throat> and uh, then we want to start putting these guys into line. All right. Uh, two points. Starting with Von Vink over here. Mm -hmm. Cost two points. That's what we talked about. You just shoot them left and right. Okay. Get over here. See them? Now, red, what you did before, they don't they don't actually have to come up parallel to each other. They can they, they don't. can be like that. They they can. Uh, trick is you won't be able to shoot as far. Remember, firing is firing. You know, close range firing is exactly a base step. So, but if I remember correctly, your concern. If I remember correctly, red the. Concern was uh, an artillery concern, right? Yeah, but there's no way you can get away from that. Okay. Okay, but it does happen, so don't, don't, uh, you know, you can't get away from it because it's going to happen, unless you want to spread them out in a single line, and I kind of don't, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, when the artillery starts firing, you don't want to be in a deep column. Okay, so if I want to move, uh, oh, and, and you say the last one just comes up behind. Yeah, you get right? you, you you can move two base widths is the bottom line. You got to come straight. So he just comes in exactly behind. Him. Just okay, like that. perfect. All right. Uh, let's see now. Camps behind them should have enough room to do it now. Mm -hmm. But they're going to actually... No, 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 no. Let me check something. No, I don't want to do that yet. Um... <clears throat> Pax, oh wait, Pax Brigade is going to be masking this guy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, <clears throat> the only place they could fire would be straight ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like you got enough room right here. Just remember, these guys can move slightly to the side. But Which you ones? Can't move side, you can't move laterally, you have to wheel. Can so, Except for during a formation change, then this guy can move here if he's got enough room. The question is, does nope. he have enough room? Nope. No, he does not. Nope. <laughs> so never mind. Okay, that's that's fine. Actually, I think for the moment, I'm going to leave them where they are. Okay. Okay. That's it then. All right. Uh, Perponcher wound up with four points. Puncher is going to go. Let's see, four points that gives him four. Or, that gives him four orders. Uh, this unit is going to close down into a single mass. And the same is going to be said of uh, Saxon Wienermeyers. That's all for them. Okay. Brunswickers. You 
they got a total of they got eight. That's more than give them eight. Eight, 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 eight. Big eight, big eight, big eight. Oh, let's go. Let's see, get the advanced card. The advanced card is a separate unit by itself. Let's go, and then Vaughn Butler's brigade. Well, you don't yeah. want to do that though, because then you're going to wind up having to pay more. You still want this yeah, we group won't to, do you that. Want that. Let's group, go ahead. You, you still want this group to be three. Yeah, let's go ahead and move these three. Six inches if you stay on the road. Yeah, we're going to move to six. Hey, I just forgot something, Jim. Hmm. Aren't they supposed to be paying two for movement? Oh, boy, yeah, they are. Yep, everything you do costs double. That's not an issue over there. It's not an issue over here, but it will be. It will remember it here because you are another non-tempo player. Quite correct. So that costs two. I don't think it mattered over much because frankly, because no, frankly, just... we, we should remember it. Absolutely. Um, because over here, he's been giving him 16 anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. He only did one, two, well, one thing over here. Yeah. One. I didn't even two, use half my points almost basically. Yeah. So that's four. That's a total four. of four. You've used a total of four so far, Red. Let's go. There's another half here. <clears throat> While Red does that, I have a question also. Straighten um, out to the left, Red, please. Thank you. Yes. How, do, how does uh, artillery support of infantry units work? They have to be a, they have to be in a group with them. At six. And they have to be have a clear line of sight to the unit that they're supporting it with. So it's like typically something like that. Okay. And then it's a very nice shooting bonus. So but the artillery can't bombard during the bombardment. And, right, and they can't bombard during bombardment. So you got one more thing you can do, Red. See, that makes things controversial for these guys here. Yep. Because they're going to get a little more stuck, for sure. Here we go. That's it. All right, Red, what do you want to roll to see who gets to go? Uh, who gets whether I can get uh, Alan on? Yeah, uh, it's the uh, one of the next two. You get to pick actually. It's either Cook or Alton. Go right ahead. So let me go to roll though. Let me look here. Let me look. Don't look yet. Look, but look after you roll. You you can't do nothing unless you get it. Oh, he does. Six. How about that? <laughs> the... Oh, yeah, so I won't cook on. Yeah, he's the, that's not a surprise. So he'll, uh, he'll do the same thing. The Brunswickers are clear, so. I'm going to pull him up behind there. You know what to do. You'll know what to do when the time comes. But one thing I will do is I'm going to grab Cook. Yeah, let's get uh, Maitland's Brigade on there. Or at least well, like I, like I say, we'll we'll set it up in time. You'll just have to, you know, because you got all this other stuff in the way. Let's get these limbers out of the way. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's been some excellent rolling, at least in terms of getting those reinforcements. All right. So now it is six to five. Six to five. Twelve again. Red, what you got? Oh, nice. Twelve to eleven. Set your tempo points.
<clears throat> there's been a <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's been only a one point difference on every single one of those rolls so far. I know. I know. Red has been, the allies have been rolling off their heads in terms of both tempo and getting their reinforcements. Good fortune. Good fortune. I hope we're not using it all up before the combat. Before the shooting starts, yeah. (laughs) So we're all set on both sides? No. Yes. I'm still waiting for the French. Typing. Okay. Dear mom. <laughs> Here I am at Camp Kawa. <laughs> Chain of Command Pacific game. That's not a bad idea. We could do that. Air oh, combat game. Air combat game. What a fine idea. Wings of Glory. Yeah, we haven't done any of them yet. Yeah. It'd probably be uh, Bag the Hun. Oh. I played one of those <clears throat> at that convention I went to out here in, in San Mateo. <coughs> Your points are in? Yeah, points are in. All right, it is three on the French side to one on the Allied side. So the French keep the tempo and have nine points to spend. That's nine points between Rael and Kellerman. How do you split them? Two for these guys. Okay, two for Kellerman, one and one, so four and four. Yep. Okay, not a surprise. That leaves uh, seven points. Ooh, quite rich. How many? Two. Two there becomes eight. Two. Also eight. Two. Also eight. That leaves one. One. Five, just like it looks. There it is. Uh, we'll start with you, Velker, since it's over here. You got four here with uh, Jorbal. Yeah. Uh, we've not been following the. Uh... Waiting. Never mind. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. That's all of that. How about uh, Foy? Gun coming with, or is it separate? It's separate. Okay. Hence the many points. That's uh, that's two. to you well, thank you Jim so for my first show, part of the show mm-hmm. <laughs> alright we're going over here yeah these are seven and a half I believe right uh, uh-huh. yeah uh-huh correct one might reasonably say those are within proximity to the enemy yeah a little bit That's one, two. Well, that's all he can do. I mean, yeah, that's no, no, I get it. weird. That's five. Completely. Well, it's just because he's such a small division. Eight more points over here for our boy Bachelor. All right. That's one. Mm-hmm. Changing formation. Oh, not, really? not moving. 
not moving. Now, how'd that go? I saw him go because I want to do. These units can only move two and a half. So the farthest unit, you know, these guys can move here and then. It's there and it's there and there. And then these guys, it's they, they can form out. That's the only way I could make sense of that rule. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's that and that. And then these guys shove up behind. Nope, nope. Well, I, yeah, sure. If you want to move them two and a half that way. But it's got to be, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I get it. I get it. It just, the intent is you form a column behind, but that works too. Okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is still a group. Ron, you know, once your nose is out, these guys can move at a faster speed, right? Oh, really? Oh, no, I did not. Know. Yeah, you can, but then you're going to break the group. Yeah, because this guy's back here will be. It's base by base, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, Yoko, don't be breaking the group. Right. Tell me. <laughs> I've watched the video. That's what we want. <laughs> Shoot. So these actually can't go across the stream. They can do it. They, I, un, unless what you're tell unless it's the intent that you can't drag an eight pound gun across the stream. I mean, a river maybe, a stream? Yeah, I, depends, that, on, depends on how deep it is, right? Which doesn't make a boatload of sense to stream me. Stream or passable by all troops costing one base width of movement. Yeah, and when so your movement is you one, base one base width, once you, you hit it, once you hit, once you go the one base width into it, then you've paid. How do, you ever, how do you ever move? Yeah, especially when the movement for artillery is one it's, base width. exactly one base width. Yeah. So you never move. It's a nonsense. Uh, it's, it, because you pay the shaken penalty, make it, make it uh, you know, a one base width move and you get shaken. Uh, you know, uh, otherwise they should have said you can't take him across the stream. Because then there, I can make it across with one base width. Mm -hmm. Does that, um, the shaken penalty, does that apply to both forms of artillery? Yep. Wow. But it doesn't. It isn't. It doesn't cause shaking for, uh, what is it? Force morale or army morale? Right, but you're still shaking, which is devastating. I think it's excessive, actually. I I didn't write the rules. Didn't say it did. <laughs> no, you just advertised one. Yeah, you just advertised one. Yep, handball. <laughs> you know, I was just busted on your head. <laughs> oh, oh man, Reg. Slam no matter what, so you might as well give it up. <laughs> yeah, he's got to get his licks in before do the it because dice like rolling you. starts. Oh, <laughs> you know, these aren't really Dutch, they're actually Opal Cheney. Yes, yeah, oh dear, <laughs> now it is a problem. That's all right, he balanced it out. He brought he brought Velker. <laughs> That's true, he's got Velker in his back pocket. Yeah, true. Just you wait, I'm coming. I'm not coming fast, been, but I am coming. I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting <laughs> I have been waiting. My guys are taking a nap. Achilles, are you sure you want to rush Velker? <laughs> no, I think the line, I think, I, I, I forget who said it, but it's like, hey, good night, David. Sleep well, please. Take care. Take care, David. Hope you feel better. I'm feeling you. I have never faced Velker in the field. I'm looking forward to it. Marky Hustler, the game you're thinking of is Ace of Aces. It's a wonderful game. 
by Nova Games that also did a version of it for West End when they made it X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. And they That's even an awesome did, game. They even did a version uh, Dragon Riders of Pern, of all things. Yes, I have it. I do, too. Um, I'm done. Oh, wow, I forgot a guy. Playing solitaire till dawn with a deck of 51, those guys. <laughs> Might want to move cool Marshall May, too. Yeah. He's well, more... he thought he he's going oh, like waiting. Not up. another Good crash. Luck! Not another crash. What is going on here? This is like Saturday. Fault this time. I was just you know what I was seriously I was just about to say. That is seriously aggravating. <laughs> they uh, they're mad at you for switching to fiber. I haven't yet. <laughs> oh, they heard. You think? You think? Yeah. They heard. They heard, and they're mad. That that hey. I believe. Yeah, the phone cops, man. They know everything. <laughs> this, I believe. See how much we lost here. Please don't let it be much. Whoa. What the? Server crashed, Red. Oh, not terrible at all. Come on back. <clears throat> you might want to start saving like every... 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I'm going to just start saving at the end of every turn. Although, truthfully, the autosave has been real solid. I uh, I took advantage of the fact that you can have up to three autosaves, so I'm at the max. Ah. So it's it's actually not bad. It's not bad at all. I think that's no, looks close pretty to much the same. Good. Except Marshall Ney hadn't moved. He was waving his troops on, like, yeah, good luck, guys. Yeah, tell, me how, storming the castle. tell me how that turns out. At the, at the speed the French He's are doing the Billy Crystal out us. of Princess Pride. <laughs> have fun storming the castle. <laughs> at the speed the French are low crawling towards our lines, I don't think we'd miss much. So, uh, That line from Shrek, some of you may die. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. <laughs> As he waves his men by. There we go. We good? Yep. All right. Over to the over to the allies. Uh, they rolled a f a four a four. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and give uh, five points to Picton. That gives him twenty. So once again, all the points you need. still have five left uh, I'm going to give you to uh, Merlit yeah Merlet. there's there's absolutely no point in giving him two points if you give him one he gets four. Oh, one one point yeah okay he gets one point See, these guys are good. Uh, <laughs> see, I'm going to give... Now four left. Yeah, I'm going to get him, on, him out of the way. I'm going to give... Um, what is it? Or to uh, Brunswick. Although I take it back. Yep, you've got to give. Uh, you've got to give him two. Okay, I'm giving four. three to Brunswick and two to give him to Vermont. Okay, three, Fair. three to Brunswick. So that's twelve. Yep. And how many are you giving to uh, Cook? I think I only have one left. One left. So you'll give him. One. Let's see where One. is Wellington? Where's Wellington? Roger. Oh, he just makes it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, go ahead and move. Cook. Pack. He's also capable. When? Pick when him. is the? Uh, when is the fire phase? At the end of the turn after movement. If you mean after bombard, movement. you mean bombardment. Yep. Bombardment yes. is first. Do it now. You do it now. Okay. Then 
the uh, nine pounders of the fifth Anglo Hanoverians are just in range of that cavalry. All right, so they're not going to get the bonuses for the grouping because it doesn't go through them. But you do get that front. I see that. PK's brigade. Because it's only 17. I think it's exactly 17 and a half, which is your front. Precisely. Bombardment. Yeah. You're going to roll 2d6 for each target base. Okay. I'm just checking. It's going to be 2d6 minus 1 because it moved last turn. 2d6 minus 1. Uh, you wish to roll, roll really very, high. You wish to roll very Not high. Not too high. <laughs> Are you talking about my guns moved? No, your target did, those horse. Oh, the target did. Okay. Yeah. okay. 2d6, okay, so actual gunfire. 2d6. 2D minus 1. <laughs> Three. Well, okay. Cease firing. This base will not fire next turn. Oh, perfect. <laughs> they, they they apparently did a very bad job shooting. That was bad yeah. shooting. They got the they got the ramrod stuck in the barrel. I guess that was not good. <laughs> um, however, you now have all the points in the world. So away with you. Okay. Uh, I can't shoot. So yeah, it's... I'm out of range. Yeah. Here. I would have to go straight ahead. Might nick him. I'm just out here. What what how big are those guns? Those are sixes. Those You're way out of range. Yep. Yeah, it's fifteen and a half. That's a six. Yeah. So uh Achilles, okay. you're up. All right. Remember everything so... costs double. Oh, wait a minute. Well no, that's fifteen spot. That's fifteen eight. Remember it's straight six. ahead too. Oh. Is that a shot? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Shot at the uh, at Compy's Brigade. Guy in the middle. 2d6 minus 1. Seven. No effect. Okay. And again we return. So now I'm moving. Yes, yes you are. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Explain to me if I want to um, wheel Van Wink's brigade. You move, but you wheel by base, not by brigade. Okay. Then let's not do that yet. What's the uh, penalty for the wood half. over there? So it's going to be two and a half. Okay. Well, they're not going anywhere near that far, so. There it is. <clears throat> okay. Now I want to put Pax Brigade into line. Go right ahead. So that was two there. This is this is two also. Yep. They're not going to be able to do it, are they? Nope. Crap. You, have no. you have to move the gun. Yeah. Which you can't do because you fired it. Okay. Let's put uh, Kemp's into line then. Just like that. All right, Two, and let's. Four. And we're. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna relimber the. Uh, this this artillery. That just happens, and they're done. All right. Is that it? <clears throat> mm hmm All right, Brunswick. 14 points, that's a lot. It can't be 14. It's got to be multiple of four. Actually, I take that back. There is something else I need to do. What's that? No, 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 never mind. I was right. Okay, sorry. No I thought I'd missed something. 
All right, Brunswick. The Brunswick. Brunswick is going to start his wheel. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's only a base width this way, so... It's three clicks. We figured it out. Okay. Which is generous, but I like it. That's it. No, no. No, no, that's way too much red. Let me do it. Let go. I let it go. No, you didn't. Let it go, man. Just let it go. <laughs> let it go. Hey, what's the distance they get if they're going backwards? One base step. One base width. Base yeah, point. base okay. step, not width. Yeah, it's, yeah, so that's it. That's all he can yep. do. Yep, he's done. Let's go ahead and move. Uh, he's also going to start it. <laughs> Why is it on the opposite corner? Because you're not clicking on that corner. And that's it, though. Okay. Uh, we're going to get my guns moving. And I'm going to move ahead. I believe he's done. Let's go over here to Devon Merrill. Mm -hmm. See, he's got to pay. He's going to start his wheel. Mm -hmm. So. You don't, but you're not, yeah. yeah. And that's going to ungroup them. Oh, I got to do the whole thing. No, you can't. And you can't move. Nope. This guy can't, can't move. You're going to have to change formation. Uh, you got to change formation. Yes, I am. I have to change formation. Yep. There we go. Change that's... of formation. And that's it. And that's it. All right. Cook's got four. Let's see. He's going to barely come on. This is me no, doing I'm the math. Not since the first time we did this have I been this worried about this, but I think it's the game. It's over here. One square, three and a half, is seven and a half inches. Perfect. You go. As designed. Is that it? All right. Let's see what you did there. So that's two, four. Yep. That's all of it. You get anybody else? Can you bring on your last group? That'd be hyper fast. Anybody else? Return Achilles. Roll high. Uh oh. One die, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course oh. not. <laughs> oh, no. Return doesn't matter, I suppose. <clears throat> All right, roll it. Uh, so it's still six to five. Yep. Ten. 10 to 10. Nice. Crazy. Tempo bid, please. Well, to be technical, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Tempo bid, tempo bid, tempo bid. I actually talked to the guy that designed Ace of Aces. It's a math problem. As are most things of that sort, I suppose. Now, 
you can't um, wheel. I'm sorry, move and then wheel. You have to wheel and then move. No, you have to wheel right? and then you're done. Ah. Well, I mean, if you've got a two base with move, you can wheel. So you can keep moving, but I guess not everybody's got that. Uh, bids are in? Yep. Red? Bids in. Ooh, allies win this one. They are the tempo bidders. They begin with artillery. Bombardment is first. Uh, that unit did indeed move last turn, so it's still 2d6 minus 1. This one can't fire this turn. Yeah, he can't fire. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He's a, he's malfunctioned. He's, he, he is malfunctioned, <laughs> yeah. 2d6 minus 1 on dude right there. Right there. Oh, there's one. Plus I'll count one. that as 3 and give you another one. Six, Three, minus six. one, five. Uh, it's nothing. Cease firing. No firing next turn. Yep. Oh, wonderful. Another gun goes <laughs> silent. All right. So uh, you have the tempo, dear allies. Um, nope, that stays there, Red. Oh, yeah, but I've moved it so that it would, I wouldn't, we'd not mess it yeah, up. Yeah, but that you want to mark it some other way, fine. But we need to know that that gun is, is, the, is, uh, is unlimbered. We remembered last time. I don't think it's that big a deal. They, they don't need counter battery fire if we just put our own guns out of action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's 10 to 10. So you've got six points to spend red. Six. All the good gunners are in the uh, Navy. Ooh, oh, uh, boy. Let's go ahead and... Uh... For the British, yeah. I'm going to give Picton four... It's 16, so it's all the points he wants. You got two left. I'm going to give uh, the Duke of Brunswick the last two. Eight. All right. Why don't you go first pick? All right. All right, uh, Van Wink is going to wheel this time. So it has to be by base, is that correct? Correct. How many clicks is Three it? Three clicks, that's one, two. Does he have to go the full three? No. no. Okay. And now he that guy could advance because he's a single base maneuver. He can advance one. He can advance two and a half. If you want him to. Just remembering how much, how much he's going to have to move at the far end of this wheel. Hey Jim, I'm reading I this. I'm going to go go over this while he's moving. Mm -hmm. All turns are carried out by wheeling. One front corner of the unit or mm -hmm. group may move up to a full move forward or one uh, base step back, pivoting on the other outside corner, on the other front corner, which remains stationary. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it does say unit or group, so you can pivot the group, yep. but you're going to move nothing in that case. Yep. I mean, you do that. Well, I suppose that's the whole point, isn't it? I mean, if you do that, it's a full move. You can wheel. T yeah, okay. So he could wheel to full move is five. Yeah, it's not terrible. Five, come on, Jim. Yeah, he can wield it here. Is about right. 
He's got to step. He's gonna have to step back some. It's forty-five degree. Come on, you've played DBA before. Stop it. Let's just do it this way. <clears throat> And then move them forward an inch if, if you can. Only only do it twice and then, or can you well, do no, that? Oh, no, that actually worked better than I thought. Okay. Check my geometry on that. But yeah, then it's uh, 14 and a half. Huh, I'll look at that. There it is, yeah. Corrected. Corrected. All right. So if you want to wheel these guys red, you know. And then move them. That's what it looks like. Yep. Thought so, but that's why I went back and checked. Mm hmm. Okay, um, this artillery is now movable, mm -hmm. and you said they, they can only go uh, one base width back? Correct. It's base step, so it's only one yeah, inch. Yeah, sorry, base depth, it's one inch. Yeah, okay. All right, I believe I believe they are done. All right, Brunswick. Okay, so now that we've read that, I believe this unit. This guy can go forward his two, his five inches, and the rest of the unit will follow him. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes. I mean, assuming you get that far. You may have a turn point in there, I don't know. Three. So that's two. So it's one click on the uh, on the gun. There's two clicks, mm -hmm. and he moves just the one, right? Yeah, that's it. That's gonna be it. No, he yeah, he just stays still. Oh no, he can't. Yeah, yeah. One more. What the heck, what the heck did I do? Right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's check. He's going to move up snug behind his gun, and that's it. Oop. And... They're just going to follow. So tonight's version of Katrabra was brought to you by the Knights of the Holy Grail. <laughs> yeah, I believe I'm finished. Oh, yeah. Except this time, 
as funny as that was, it's not my fault. I know, I know. <laughs> because but the fact that you are deployed into line here, uh -huh. just so it's understood. I know. I'm going to be many turns when I get... You are... Is that four? Five? Six? You are six turns away from making contact. Yep. I don't understand how this is enjoyable. Not. I I don't understand the movement rates at all. Because this is this is again not column. I suppose the point they would make is you shouldn't have deployed into line yet. No, nope. you're, you're too far away. But going with the bouncy, because did you see those bouncy bounce rules? Yeah, there are. Yes, there are. There are. So once I hit that 15 mark there, that freaking thing is bouncing right through my line. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, my column, I should say. Yeah. We shall stay at it. Uh, that's it. You get... Uh, you, Probably you... four Saturdays before I get up here. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't true. You stop. All right, three. See, um, my prediction is true. January, it'll be yeah. January. <laughs> well, no, it's that's the given the holidays. That's entirely possible. Um, Wait, he wanted to fight Leipzig, so is he trying to drag this out so it's <laughs> Leipzig's like? Well, you know, I, Leipzig I, like. I do not. I do not. I do not savvy Palamas yet. I'll put it that way. Uh, does Alton show up? Allies. I'm rolling. Yes, there yes, he does. All right, so he's got nowhere to be, oh. so he might as well just. It's a foot dragger. He's got, he's got. <laughs> well, the issue is you've you've rolled absurdly well in terms of getting him, so you've just jammed up that road. Yeah, when, when we tested this, I didn't get one. Yeah, he he didn't get a single reinforcement. You not only started strong, but you've been getting a ridiculous number, so. You know, now it's more a question of deploying those guys out before the French can eventually drift into place. Or perhaps, as uh, Achilles put it, crawl into place. Uh, we, but we, but we go again. We, we go to the next turn. Um, no, we don't. No. We got to go because they won the... Uh... Yes. Oh, shoot. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't used to that at all. <laughs> Honestly. That's, that's so have, bloody unusual. They haven't moved. Yeah, four... Uh, plus six would have been ten. You bid three, so seven. Yep. One over here. Just remembering, everything for you is doubled. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on. Give him two. I think right. if I was running this, and I after what we're doing here is taking forever, I would want to. I would want to triple that first. You know, three, four moves. No, I mean the first move, not like say, okay, you can move at triple speed. They're on the road. Yeah, but or they're in yeah, march this column. Is, this is the oh. scenario that they wrote into the back of the rules. I mean, that's pretty inexcusable. And this, yet, I mean, this is on the road. He can move triple, but then what about the rest of his unit, which is yeah. not on the road? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this, this. There's something I'm missing. I'm missing something. I, uh, cause, cause holy cow. But anyway, we're staying at it. Um, not being distracted. So you gave him two, uh, splitting them up that way. Five. Splitting them uh, up that way, Velker. A... Four and four? Yeah. Okay. Five left. Remember, Velker, it costs two points to move each. It's going to be eight, eight, eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be an hour and a half in, uh, before they get up here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is, this is. It's time to quit. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, believe me, it's taking everything in my power not to just call the game right here and declare Palamas a failure. All those uh, in favor? We win. We still hold Contra Bra. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can't do that. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it is, it is, I, like I say, I'm, the big fear I've got, just like with Blucher and my inability to measure a freaking table, accepted. Um, I don't understand how these movement rates work at all. Um, Wait, it's like three 
it, it's th it's supposed to be two and a half squares per two and a half base width per square. No, negative. You are wrong. <laughs> right here. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, I'm going. I'm looking. One square is three base widths. Okay, I see it. Not from that stupid picture they got. Why it's way over here instead of lining up. Yeah, this is... Well, maybe they meant three base widths for a division. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, and as people are pointing out in the chat, this is... this. You could excuse poor scenario design if it weren't the book they were providing you. If they weren't the picture... If it wasn't the picture they were providing you. Um, isn't this isn't this normally played in six millimeter, right? It is. You just it, but you just jam a different number of figs on it. I'm just thinking if a, if you've got a six millimeter base mm -hmm. and you're only going two base widths, <laughs> how far is that? No, no. The, this ba the these same? bases are six, the these bases should prove sixty by thirty. Okay. Which is the standard Palamas base. Oh, okay. So yeah, no, that's is, funny. That's a standard blue curve base. This is this is per spec. No, this is there. There no excuse. Uh, can yes. I divide my things up real quick? Uh, go to here. No, sorry. Yeah. Mm. Go three here. Actually, you know what would make sense is if, for example, if Picton has 16... Two here. Two here, eight, got it. And these are just blanked yeah. out. If Picton had 16 oh, points and he's only using eight to move everything he has, then he should get to move with another eight points. Then he would move yeah, twice you in know, one turn. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Yeah, that you would know, make that, sense, actually. That would If you had extra, but that's not... Not how it's written. Yeah. No, of course not. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Velker. And if the pig of Roy had rings, it could fly. <laughs> Maybe I can almost... we'd all be happier if Paco the cat was here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that except Jeff. <laughs> I can almost sense Velker's tension that you know he 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 wants to charge so badly, but are he can't you kidding? This is driving him insane. <laughs> I'm close. I'm 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 on. Right you there. you just stay. You, you yeah. Just just you wait, Achilles. He's coming. You'll see. You're still like two turns minimum Come on, away. Come Lancelot, charge! <laughs> exactly. Two turns. So you got you got four. So these cost double. Remember. It, you're charging. You're charging the the guard on the drawbridge. Okay. okay, so that's four. All right. Yeah, that's it. Because you could cost you in the water. I would say. And that's one, two, three, four. Yep. Over here. Why is this ten? Good. He gave you twelve points. Oh, it's oh, I see. I see. Because remember, Velger, it's two points per move you gotta do. So that's twelve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know my math. Thank you, Velker Man. You honestly crying over that? <laughs> hey, I'm pretty good at math, and I if I appreciate math, that means must mean you did pretty good math. Right? His math is amazing. 
It was amazing math. I beat my dad in math today. He did. I did a better math. He, oh, I he, did a faster math. He, he faster math than I, yeah. It's true. It's true. That young brain, wait until he gets into the monogamy of work. True. It'll slow him down. True. Yeah, that's what we need. Kill all that We get him a job life. to kill all that intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Kill all that native intelligence. No. Here comes that oh, a grouchy old gamer. Remember, you're gonna start. You're starting early, Velker, so it's gonna come earlier for you. <laughs> Be a grouchy old gamer by the time he's twenty. <laughs> That's only seven years away. So you say, you know. Like, you know time. <laughs> all right, I'm done. Ron, you're up. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> hey, they just been doing that to me all day. Just, Achilles just did a back in my day. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Back in my day. You can go two and a half there. As he as he started the uh, what is it uh, back in the good old days and it was only last year, <laughs> last week. Oh. <laughs> no, no. He, uh, the one thing he will occasionally do, my son will occasionally say, when I was when I was little, or when I was <laughs> when I was a kid, and I'm like, dude, dude, man. Actually, there's no time limit, at least not that I could see in the scenario. See, here's the Either thing. should be. And here's the thing of it. Once the two sides make contact, the game ain't going to take too long. <laughs> because stuff starts to break real, real quick. At least as I perceive it. You're all done? All right. All right, let's rock and roll one more turn. What time we got? Oh, we got time. We got time. We got time to go a couple more turns, actually. Let's do it. Um, so first things first, yeah, we got to do the. Uh, we got to do some dice. So it's six to f six, six to six now, isn't it? Or yep. Is it? Yep. yep. Six to six. Yep. Nine. Nine two. Five, what a way to make a living. Oh, no. oh, nine to seven. Nine to seven. Make your bids, please. Because there's things in the system I kind of like. And I think I like the combat, because it's kind of DBA-like, which I sort of like. But the movement rates are stupid. Remember, the game ends when the last person playing dies. <laughs> Is that the rule? <laughs> I write the so bid. Velker, bid. 50 years from now. Your bid is in, Red? Yes, it is. All right. All right. Dalinar, is yours in? Yep. All right. The uh, French have seized the initiative back, having taken the tempo with a th bit of three, leaving the, first of all, bombardment. So, French, do you have anybody in range for bombardment? Well, you don't have anybody in Limburg yet. I don't have anybody in Limburg. So that's six points. Spend them. Two. Velker split them four and four. Yep. Go. Four left. Two. Eight. That's math. Math. Oh, I beat you at math. Bam. I just, four. I just two left. Push them back. One and. And of course, a five for Pierre. Why don't you do Pierre first? Oh, uh, I heard the bam there. Is that uh, that's your uh, what is it? Uh, super a superhero name is the Mathinator, and uh, <laughs> Velker's going to be the uh, fraction. There you go. <laughs> and uh, Ron, straighten that up a little bit, please. Is that good? That's good. Thank you. Uh, trees are impassable to cavalry. Oh, darn it. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Back him up, back him up, back him up. 
We didn't ask. Well, you didn't stop me. I just did. <laughs> totally we just, just did. did. Right, I'm gonna no, there's, there's a tree. We can't go that way. I'm going to wheel this one. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy McGuire. Back in my day. Wait, when, when this battle started? <laughs> Oh, brutal. <clears throat> brutal I would like fair. to apologize to all the Saturday Night Gamers for my choice of this game, because I really, really like the combat system, but the movement stinks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim. Yeah. All right, I wheeled him. Yeah. So now, that, that... how much does a wheel cost? I actually need to look at that exact thing. Give me one second. I believe there good, seven good and a half charges. <laughs> That's a tire, not a wheel. You go Page 13. Wheel. You got Page a 13. wheel. You got a wheel. Last bulletin. Left, bulletin. left column. 13. 13. My division may have fallen asleep. They've yeah, been you know doing what? hip. You know what? I think I, now that I've read that, you can wheel up to one base width or one move. Yeah, you can you can wheel a full move forward, but then you stop and you're done moving. That's how I read that. So he's done. Yeah. It's a full move forward, right? Yep. So cavalry moves. Like cavalry moves three base widths. Sure, he can he can wheel seven and a half inches. Yeah. So yeah, he can you can keep wheeling, but I think he wants to face this way, right, Brian? Correct. Yeah. All right, they're done then. All right, we sneak over here to uh, Velker over on the right. You got four and four men. All right. Yeah, 2.5. Oh, 6.3. Yeah, we figured this out. This is 2.8? Yeah. No, 2.7. No, half is 6.3. 6.3 is 3.2. 3.6, 3.3. Yeah, 3.2. And this guy will also turn... We're actually going to get a combat out of this deal. Is this considered a swamp right here? This lake feature? I have no idea. Forget about it, Red. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's just quit the game. This is ridiculous. You know, let's just put, have them, everybody moved up here. Everybody move up, and then we'll just go fight it out. Of a fun last it hour. sounds like two little kids going, all right, I would take my fingers down, moving up here, and we're going to fight it out. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm maneuvering. I, I'm I'm gonna post in Palamos and ask how you're supposed to get up there, or if if this is as intended. I'm very curious to know who finds this a pleasurable experience. <laughs> Snails, <laughs> turtles. <laughs> um. Well, maybe that uh, maybe that spiritual descendant. That spiritual descendant system. What is it, Bacchus or whatever? Maybe they fixed it. Oh, uh, uh, Ruse de Guerre. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> I did it. My troops have been doing hip pocket training for the last three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? I want that to be a thing. <laughs> They really need it. They really do. They do, yeah. Especially the, the Dutch ones. <laughs> I want... I'm so, I your smart manual. I still want that to be a thing. And ovarians or whatever. I'm sorry, the Germans. Anybody got any... Oh, okay, here they come. To a, and that's what's crazy. I mean, look at this. What am I missing? What are we missing, people? 
See, we don't mechanization. Have a has. We don't have a has. <laughs> that's the. Oh, that's true. There's no has on this game. <laughs> Missing mechanization. I am done, sir. All done? All right. Yep. Red bombardment. I believe you got some. Or we do. Know. With this guy here, yeah. this one can't shoot. Yeah, he quiet now. He quiet. He can't yep. shoot, but he can. He can. And, and that he guy can. Got, and that guy got closer, but yeah, he's he got can. two. This. What's your range on that dude? Fifteen and a half. Seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half. Oh, look at that! You get both of them. So you're gonna get both those guys. That's the that's the nice thing. So nine pound gun. You go here to the bombardment table. I don't two. think I clip him. I'm yeah. doing the we're doing the one for uh for Achilles oh, first. Wait. I'm wrong. It's two and a half times seven, so it's fifteen. Fifteen isn't and it? a half. Does he get the second yeah. unit? Okay. Wait, that's a nine pound gun. Yeah. yeah, it's a nine pounder, so that's seven base widths. Yep. Not yeah. six. Gets the second one though. Still gets the second that's unit. Very good. As that is so, two D six. Oh, plus uh plus what one. is it? For bombardment, plus one for a unit mm -hmm. right behind him. Yep, but he loses it because it moves. Straight 2d6. Eight. Oh, that's a little better. No effect. <laughs> Barely but it's better. still better. <laughs> what the hell do you have to have to hit anything with an artillery piece in this game? Well. <laughs> Actually, you, need, you don't uh, want an, 12. You need a nine to a... You need a 9 to 12. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, anything over 12. It's actually not that hard as they get closer. Mm. But, um... Uh, yeah, they get much closer, and you won't have any artillery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, artillery is not... I don't know what you're saying is. It takes us a while to get up there. So, eh. <laughs> <laughs> any hey, other... Hey. Uh... <laughs> Any he other... can't shoot, but he doesn't have a target because there's nobody in Directly range in, line, right. in front of him. Yeah. yeah. All right. So split up your points. Eighty-two for Picta. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you funny though. So listen, audience, this is what we're going through today, okay? <laughs> well, Haz has already said that we're better gamers than he is. He would have flipped the table by now. <laughs> Picton gets 82 points, but he's only going to use four of them. I think I would have started another game, if this was live, another game in a corner somewhere. <laughs> uh, let's go. Okay, for, uh... my, my favorite line right now is either Doug Noble, hey Doug, saying, on to Kachabra! I imply, <laughs> soon! And, uh, <laughs> and John Stanley, say what you will about naval games, at least there is combat. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Okay, the only thing I'm going to say in my defense is we get there when we get there. That's Don't right. make me pull this yes, game over Dad. again. I, I have a suggestion. I have a suggestion. Why don't we just play the rest of this game as if it were LaSalle 2? <laughs> oh, you mean an actual game? Um, <laughs> Whoa. I have six points. Zing. Yeah, yeah, you got six. Hey, I just suggested you're the one that went and built it. Do you see the amount of work I did building this this nonsense? Do you? That's yes, we're playing yes, I it. do. No, okay. you play it because oh. you, you're a good people. So I understand that. And I'm going to give picked in three. 12. At least we know we'll get there. Not like that one Katra bro who were like, what the heck is going okay, on? Okay, that for the record was my fault. And I've acknowledged that. <laughs> I'm, give, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm what is it, Brunswick? <laughs> How much you, how much you give Brunswick? I'm going to give Brunswick uh, two. Also, and eight. I'm going to give Marilyn. Uh, Marilyn, uh, I'm going to give him. He's outside what I have 15, left? so One? we have. You got to give him two. Oh, yeah, I got to give him two. I don't have two to give him. I have okay. three, two, one, nothing. 
So he gets nothing, I guess. Oh. All right. Okay. Go ahead, Pack. Uh, Picton. <laughs> All right. I take it back if you send that over to him, and I think that I think what that does, I think that having means he doesn't get four; he gets two. I think. Yes. So he gets two. So he gets two. That's too far. All right. So what you doing? Well, I was trying to see if those guys were going to fit, but they nope. are not. Oh no. Which is unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Okay. Because the other thing is, these are unique bases. These don't work with anything else. All right. Now they should fit. <laughs> to an earlier comment about the threat to the guns... Tommy McGuire, somehow I don't think getting your artillery charged is the big problem in this game. No, not at all. Those Damn guys it. cannot interpenetrate because the other guys moved. Yeah, I'm trying to get the other guys forward just enough to get those guys to be able to wheel. No, oh, I, I see what you're saying. I mean, how much more do they have? Oh, a lot. Uh, I've only moved them 0.9. But remember, they're, uh, they're a unit like this, so therefore... Mm -hmm. Because How far can a, they go? Yeah, because they're a unit uh, formation more than one base width wide, they only move two and a half. Okay. Well, I've only moved them 0. 0.9, so okay. they should be able to do it. 1.6. Get close to the horses so they can get to you. Come on. Come those, on. Those horses are there. Those horses are going to get there anyway, so I'm looking forward to them getting there. Hooray, <laughs> combat. Hooray. <laughs> exactly. I'm ready for this fight. Regardless. Now, now they can do it. Look at that. You know, question is, you gotta stop. now can they move at all? No. Or are they going to stop, no, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And my limber gun. Why don't you gun... take him off the corner of this guy, though? It's... Yeah, just scooch him that tiny oh, bit. Oh, sorry. There you go. Got it? Okay. And my limber gun here is going to move up. You can seven go inch, one. Seven right? inch squares, Red. It's just math. Uh, how far can he go? He can only go one base width, right? Yep. I think the common sense is, I think oh. what should be done is this should be cut off and this should be cut off. <sighs> I repeat. I refer your attention to the general the division map. rule map. I know. I know. I'm looking. I'm just saying. This was as published. By and that's how we're playing it. By grown humans. We think. <laughs> we're not sure. Well, not to be offensive, Ian, but they are British, so who knows? Oh, boy. <laughs> wait, wait. Was this now a trick? It's, now it's on like Donkey Kong. I wouldn't have gone that far. Because, I mean, who you'd have to be in, well, or drunk. But, I mean, they did name the miniatures Maccas. Well, you're right, right? I don't understand. Okay. A uh, little wine packs... would make all of this clear. I'm I'm on scotch. I'm you know. I'm on tea, unfortunately. Um, I wish I was on rum. Yeah, Chrono. <laughs> <laughs> Chrono just popped on. Hey, I popped in two hours ago, and they haven't made contact yet. To which Tommy re Tommy replies, "Hush, or we'll turn this entire game around and spend another thousand turns moving back off the board." <laughs> here's the thing look at this board it actually doesn't look bad it's not ugly I think I don't know is it's Napoleonic 
Uh, pretty sure it's not. But now the the only winning condition is we have to take out the other enemy, right? So right, I capture, right. Catch a broad, right. like that. Huh. Falco, we could just stay still and then come to us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no. but this is so. I, Pick, Pickton's so, done, by the way. Thank you. This is so wrong, Brunswick. Uh, well, actually, I want to move. Uh... Merlin first. Oh, I love their miniatures. Becca's miniatures are awesome. You move whoever you like. Okay. There are rules I, um, I can't even describe. You know, Ian will enjoy this. I learned something the other day that um, the nomenclature for our Second World War tanks were all British. The Sherman was named by the British, the Grant, so on and so forth. Really? If they, yeah, the American nomenclature was General. We put General in front of it, so it was General Sherman, General Grant. The British are the ones they just called it a Sherman, a Grant, so on, because they were afraid there would be real oh, a they real General the name down, Sherman. Yes. Yeah, they they were afraid there would be a real General Sherman or something like that, and it would get confusing. And since they used them before we did. Um, in the desert, they just called them Shermans, Grants, and so on. And that became the popular name. So everybody calls it a Sherman. They don't call it a General Sherman. Oh, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. That makes good sense. We're going to go the Advance Guard and <clears throat> Butler von v Butler's uh, brigade is going to go into line. <laughs> Never to advance again. <laughs> Why? What for? We like it here. A nice, safe Scott, a piece of grass under this. <laughs> we're, we're well, we're well rested. We've had you know, meals. You, you, you know, <laughs> you know, Marky. I actually might. That. <laughs> Mark Hustler. On other shows, they edit this bit out. All two hours and 45 minutes of it. I'm going to go back and watch this on YouTube. It's going to be 10 minutes long. I, I, I will say this. I will say this. I would keep the rules teaching in to see if I said anything incorrect. And then skip straight ahead to where we are right now. <laughs> to be fair, you have to have turn one. Right, okay. just to show we did it as much as we could figure the right way and to show the utterly ridiculous results. Hey, that's four right there. <laughs> at least Leipzig was, when it was three days, at least there was combat on the first day. <laughs> yeah. There was combat on the first turn, you lunatic. Yeah. We're going to win this guy. Charged. Oh man! I'll tell you one thing though. I my head's starting to hurt. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up right after. Yeah, we'll call it right here, Red. Okay. We're done. Um, this is nonsense. Can I flip it? Can I flip it? Because it was my fault. Sure, go ahead. Flip it. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Before what? you do that. Yeah, yeah. Was was um was Velker's cavalry in range to charge? Because if they were, I would have loved to have seen that charge. Sure. Let's find out. Let's find like out what happens what if it happens. There you go. Yeah, I want to see what the, the combat end. actually yes, looks they're, like in this they're, game. Alright, so Vel yeah, yeah, they are. So Velker, go ahead and hit them. Just with that one brigade. And uh, that you don't yeah. conform. Yeah, let's find out what combat actually so, yeah, looks what, like what in this game. What combat actually looks like. Right. <laughs> that's, that's fair. So there's a combat. And what happens here... No, no we don't bring that guy along. No, pay for him though. Because you'll want him as a support. Do I get a support for that? Yeah, yeah. I think oh. you do. Yep. Just bring them along for funsies. So we switch over here. And we go over here. The first thing, and this is and this is to Red's point. This is actually kind of cool. I rather like this. The first thing that happens is it's an integrated attack phase that includes pre-shooting, uh, a morale check, all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, what is the quality of both your units? Uh, he's raw and trained. Okay, so no uh, uh, raw troops. That's going to be a You're minus raw. two. 
that's going to be a minus two to uh, to Achilles's guys. We come mm -hmm. over here to our, and so the choice is, this is cavalry versus infantry. You can choose to fire and form square. I'm going to tell you, I can't figure out what the benefit of forming square is. Red, you want to <laughs> tell me? Uh, as far as I can tell, there is none other than it doesn't do anything. The, something I, I'm beginning to suspect, like I said before, that brevity for brevity sake. Because it says here, rules. I understand the benefit of shooting because if he gets to shoot at him, mm -hmm. oh, there it is. Have form an unshaken square. Oh, okay. So no matter what I see, there it is. Thank you. If the infantry You're form welcome. an unshaken square, cavalry falls back shaken no matter what. Okay. There it is. Mm. But that's if they're not. So the question is, and here it is because there is a, where it is, defender. All right. So let's ask the flip question. Is there a negative for them forming square? It doesn't seem so. No, other other than uh, what is it? Cavalry charged from less than one base width, so he's the defender's not going to get that penalty. Oh, if so we, yeah, we just, supported. We just, yeah, we're talking about this. There's no pursuing. There's no support. He is supported by other infantry. That much is going on. Mm -hmm. So he's going to get plus one for all of that. Do you wish to fire? Do you wish to fire at him, or you just want to take your chances? Is the point? Why would you not? Because it's a negative to what you're about to roll. Oh, I see. So if I fire at him first, then and I'm going to get a negative in the melee. It's not in the melee. It's a holistic attack phase okay. that includes your shooting and the melee. Okay. So, but in that second phase. There's no second Which, phase. It's one die roll that we determine the result. They pre they what they've done is with these rules with the combat phase, from what I can tell, and from what I got from them before I was told never to come back or never come <laughs> again, uh, was to uh, what is it? They have mi mixed the pre uh, contact crisis and the melee together as one thing. Exactly. The only thing no, is right. is what if you fail. And he gets better if he does better than you do on this pre pre thing, the mm -hmm. contact the, the event may not even happen. Right. You may break and run away. You you may run away before he even contacts you. I see. Now that actually makes sense in real life, but um No, I like okay, so, I like this piece of it. I do. So if I if I fire, I take the chance that I'm going to break. Correct. If, if I don't fire... Well, let's put it this way. You're always taking the chance you're going to break. If he right. rolls crazy go nuts, you could easily break. This is Velker, so he's probably going to yeah. do exactly so that. So <laughs> you just make it more likely that you're going to break. But if you don't, you get to shoot mm -hmm. him in the face. Okay. Well, I think I would go for shooting him in the face. And do you want to shoot him at that. close range, or do you want to shoot him at point blank range? Um... Well, the logic would say point blank would be better, but uh, there's got to be see, a disadvantage to a, that, right? It's a bigger <laughs> negative. Yeah. So So he's charging in. You're already supported, so you're at a plus two. You're, you're at a plus one, I should say. Mm -hmm. You're at a plus one for that. You're at okay. a minus two because you're shooting him at point blank range. So you're at a minus one. So that's going to be it. You're going to be a net minus one. Okay. Velker. But if I. Go ahead. Uh, if I shoot him at short range instead of point blank, then it's a dead zero. even, right? Exactly. Okay. You're, you're a zero. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, let's shoot him at short range then. So you mean close rather than point blank? Yes, exactly. Net zero. So you're at a zero. Velker. Uh... Are those SK2 infantry? I doubt it. No, they are not. All right. No. Then that there are no modifiers for Velker. So it's a net zero to zero. How many dice? One die. One die. At least you know you're gonna lose against Velker. Five. <laughs> Only rolls of five. <laughs> Perfect. Four, a one. Yeah, sure. Difference up to one. 
both sides act as ordered. So that the next thing we do is you get to shoot him. This means you get to shoot him. Yep. Um, Very nice. The uh, So now we go to the shooting part, which is on the other table. Boop. On the other side, yeah. Are they raw? What what quality are those troops that they are, are shooting? They're raw. They're raw. They're raw. Uh, this is their first time firing, so that's a plus two. It's point blank, so it's a plus four. So it's a net plus six. Um, now, the crazy part is, too, you have these guys supporting you. This guy and this guy are going to shoot with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're going to... Yep, so they're going to do that, and they're going to do that at close range. So this is a, wow, this is a plus two, plus four, six. They don't get the plus four because, remember, he's shooting at close, he chose to shoot at close range. Oh, now. that's right. It's not close range. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it'll be this plus two. Or it'll be yeah, plus and two it's for each of them. So it's a four, right. five, six. Uh, now the the two six. brigades on the or I'm sorry the two battalions on the on his flanks are both trained they're not raw but I don't know if that matters. No, it doesn't. But okay. you're raw, which drops you to a five. Okay. So what am I doing? One die. So you're gonna roll one die now. It's time for and yeah. So it's it's a one die plus five. Both sides roll die. And you do roll a die here, Bunker. You just don't get a modifier. Oops. Three. Three. Eight. Eight to three. Net five. Fire wins by five. You suffer. Velker suffers two shaken levels, so he would take two shakens. We go over here to the results, which is, of course, never good. Um, and then we check the results. If cavalry has sustained a higher number of shakens, they will retire one base width. So Velker would have taken two shaken levels and retired two and a half inches. In bumping well, into you. this guy, and in bumping into this guy, because he's right behind him, yeah, that's why you don't bring him along. And this guy's dead. Yeah, this would kill him. That kills this guy. So that guy's dead, and this guy's shaking level one. So that's what a combat looks like. Well, that's not so bad, Rid. I just killed a whole battalion or brigade of cuirassiers is there. <laughs> mm. Yay! Mm. <laughs> so that's what that. Oh, so no. no, that's a, that's not a bad system. I don't I don't hate that, and I think you could get pretty quick with that with sufficient experience. Hmm. I would say the movement thing has to be like doubled up until you get into into something or there needs to be something has to be done with this movement because the game that i played via zoom went almost exactly the same time it took us two and a half hours to get to this point to to get to where there was any contact anywhere along the line once it did it went like speed quick i mean it was like okay. fast and furious Expl so Certainly, the scenario is wrong. I, mean, I would, I would immediately hack off. What is it? This is supposed to be eight base widths uh, of squares across, which is three, which is this is sixty. I would turn around and make this maybe forty. You can't because then it's going to be narrower. Narrow, yeah, the, but then the this guy would be the, up on top of us better. The, the width isn't the problem; it's the depth. That's what I said, the depth this way, because this yeah, is but, supposed to be 70 across and 60 this way. Right, 75 but, across and 60 like that. Polemus makes me angry. <laughs> I'm going to set them on fire for this. This is, this is, I, I'm going to post this to their page and say, somebody explain this to me. I, I am more than willing to acknowledge that we did something wrong, but I, unless somebody wants to tell me what it is, I don't see it. You do is, not. They're going to say we converted it to inches. You do. What's that? <laughs> oh, it's say because we, we put. Yeah. If only we had used the metric system. That's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I want to hear. But right now, when I write the AAR for Polemos, yeah, they ain't going to like it. <laughs> because... I have a, I feel a certain kind of way when you say it, look go all the way back to to Lasalle 2. Sam Mustafa 
put a Katra scenario into that book. Why? Because he wanted to show off how you could build a historical scenario with his rules and how well they worked. And we all went, oh, that was really cool and fun. It's a great example of how his rules play in a historic space. This is a disaster. I mean, this is, look at this. Forget about what Velker is doing over here. Bless him for it. Explain this nonsense to me. Explain why Ron is sitting back here after easily 10 turns. Excuse me. I, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. Playmos, I'm looking at you funny. And the funny <laughs> thing is, if, even if I wanted to keep these guys back. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. It's, I'm not going to the back as far. I'm going straight to the Facebook page. Where a very and the sad thing is the gentleman who has been helping me has been absolutely wonderful. Um, he's been very gracious, very helpful. But this one, this one, this one, and I actually posted over there saying, "Hey, uh, we're doing this live. Anybody want to come over and kibitz? We'd love to have you." And uh, no, unfortunately, nobody came. I I haven't felt this bad since Boyd Bruce came over and told us how badly we were playing Absolute Emperor. <laughs> Which was a special kind of bad, I'm here to tell you. Um, although, well, I, as I told Boyd at the time, part of the fact is the way that rule set is edited. I'm just saying. And I have kind of the same vibe here. I blame Bacchus. I blame Osprey. You know, we're pretty good rules players. Red has played them before. Red, you want to tell me we did something wrong with the movement rates? I will listen, but I don't see it. I just don't see it. I don't see it either. I'm just giving suggestions. I would definitely cut this off to, you know, make this a 40 inch table to make it quicker for somebody to get for you, these guys to get up here. I mean, if you cut 20 here and, you know. Uh, John, uh, infantry can go through the trees. Cavalry can't. Well, even, <clears throat> even failure is a learner. Oh yeah, no, 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 so, no, no. I, so, I absolutely agree. I just this is particularly irritating because these bases, as I said earlier, are unique. They're only for Plamus. They don't work with any other system, and so I can't reuse them for Shackle oh, Two. Oh, or... so they're like Warlord. Thank you for that, Ron. Why are you getting me in <laughs> Did trouble? Did I go too Ron? far? Yeah, why are you getting me in trouble? I still don't know. So let's talk about what's coming up. Um, I have a, another secret plan for Wednesday. Another game of Polymus? No. Uh, it's, oh, <laughs> I, I want you to. I want you to look in your calendar and flip through it. Go go into the future and look for a cold day in hell. Um, and I want you to pencil me in on that day. And I said pencil. Um, you know. So it's. I I just don't get it. Um, so that. But no Wednesday. I have a thought, and it's just a thought, that we're going to play some The Men Who Would Be Kings. Because I've been rereading the Flashman novels, and I just kind of want to fight British regulars versus Af Afghan lunatics and get Kendo's boys out on the table again, which we haven't in too long. Um, nice. Thursday, we are doing the Dunsling Double, if people are around. Um, that's LaSalle 2. Um, that's Christmas <laughs> Eve Eve. I would hope to get OJ and, well, the crew, the crew that was there, to play the other half of the Dunsling double, including Chrono and Achilles, who was there. Yes, sir. Um, to try to play that with LaSalle, too. Um, we are now down, by the way, hard to believe I'm about to say this, to two games left in Project Catrabra. I am going to reach out to Boyd Bruce and see if I can't get a, um Absolute Emperor scenario, because I think that could be fun. Um, I want to do the mini game of DBN, but that doesn't quite count. And then we have at Sans Resultat with our Yay. friend David Ensness. So yeah. that has to come up pretty soon too. So, but next Saturday is Christmas in a, all over the world for those that observe. And um, <laughs> has, damn it, has. The scenario might have moved more quickly with colored bases. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not true. That's a that's a filthy lie, you bastard. Oh, you kill me. The um, that's awesome. The uh, yeah, no, Chrono, you're absolutely no, 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 Chrono. I agree with you completely. 
I I posted to Boyd that when he announced that they were not going to publish his scenario book like he asked them to, I said they owe you a redo, man. They owe you a second edition, and that I completely agree. And um, so we're gonna we're gonna turn over to those. But uh, I don't know what we're going to do on Saturday because it's Christmas, and I know everybody does things on Christmas. I, in fact, will be I'll down. I'll be around. You'll be around? Okay. We'll figure something out. And then I'm off between Christmas and New Year's, so we're going to play some extra games, including, we're going to do it, the dumbest game ever designed. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait. We just called it dumbest. I thought we dumbest. just did that. I thought we just did, Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 this was, this was, uh, this was, this was merely a poorly designed game. Uh, this is the dumbest game ever designed. The, uh, the, the, which, which is, which remember how much I blamed this on red. This is going to be blamed on Dalinar. Except, Uh except it is the, it, it is the 1809 campaign for snappy nappy. And we know this team likes snappy nappy. And extra large size, by the way. Uh, oh, wow. an extra large size. So, uh, what's the question being asked here? Sure. Oh, yeah, I, I did this. You're, you're raising an excellent point, Marky. Here, I'll show you. Thirty-eight inches, give or take. Divide it into base widths of two and a half. So every two is a five. 14 turns, guaranteed. No matter what. And by the way, and by the way, in our further defense, remember we let Achilles deploy all the way back here, all yep. the way forward up here? Imagine yeah, I'd we, still, I'd still be we, getting over there. Yeah, if we required Picton to maneuver out of that mess. Yeah. I'd, I'd still be marching over there. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just so much, so much is wrong here. So we got a bunch of stuff. Pay attention to the forums for those who are so inclined to follow the forums and want to play along or want to play. You know we love to have you. And uh, I want to thank everybody for coming along. Project Catcher Bra, hey. It's going to have its ups and downs, and frankly, it's been way more ups than downs, so I'm not I'm not sad. I always hate it when a game system doesn't work out, because I always like game systems, and I think they each bring something, but uh, let me see here. What do I, what's Haz telling us? Haz is saying words, and I love Haz words. <laughs> yeah, and no, no, and uh, awesome. So to uh yeah no you're right they and i know that people have suggested to boy bruce that they go, that he go to war game vault too here's the problem with war game vault here's the problem with all of that and this actually came from our f friend of show Mar uh mike hopper who of course did our uh shaco 2 scenarios he published his scenarios for the bavarian campaign and he actually gave them to people what what he did was if you got a if you if he knew you and you bought a copy of the rules the uh, the book from him for the Bavarians he mailed you the PDFs recently emailed them to you he said he hadn't done that f I think he said it was a day and he heard that four people had already shared PDF copies with friends you know it it's just much easier to pirate when it's in PDF form and that's a an absolute shame. You know, that's and and as as we all know, guys like Mike, guys that are building games, they don't make a lot of money. So, yeah, it's scuzzy. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for playing. I really do appreciate you. For those we don't see, please Merry Christmas and uh, please be safe over the holidays and we'll well shoot, we'll see a bunch of you on Wednesday. So until we see each other again, please take care of yourselves and one another. We will talk soon.